What's up, everybody? My name is Ron Empire, and welcome to my channel. All right, welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to take a look at another Steam Next Fest demo called Auto Forge. So this game is somewhat similar to Starbound, Terrera, and a little mix of Factorial. And it looks like it's got some Oxygen Not Included-like vibes to it with the automation. And the game is supposed to release sometimes March 27th. And according to the latest news from the developers, the demo is going to be taken away in a couple of days. Um, so hopefully you guys will be able to get a chance to play it. By the time this video goes up, it might already be out. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump in and uh, take a look at the game. Okay, I guess I'll have to enter a new world name. So we'll go with On Empire World. All right, let's try that. This will be the first time I'm actually playing this game. Now, I've seen some of the um, trailers and video footage on their Steam page. It looks pretty cool. All right, so press A and D to move. Okay. My, for some reason, my thing is not moving. Mouse over tutorial task for additional help. Okay. Oh, for some reason it checked off that. I didn't even move it yet. All right, so A and D to move. Press uh, space bar to jump. There you go. Roll by pressing shift while moving. It doesn't feel very natural though, because if my left finger or my left hand is moving ASWD and the shift is my pinky, kind of makes it really hard to do the roll. I don't know how many people are able to roll. I get, uh, yeah, I really don't know how many people are able to roll with, with moving and hitting the shift at the same time, right? How do you even shift? <laughs> Like hitting the, the pinky finger for shifting. Uh, all right, sure. Ho hover by pressing S while falling. Okay. Um, jump. Oh, okay. There you go. So if I jump and I hit S, that works. Can I hit? Can I jump? Up, up, and up? No. Anyways, collect eight stone by harvesting rocks. Okay, let's do that. And it looks like my middle mouse button zooms in, zoom out. All right, harvest, right click. Or is it left click, left click? I'm guessing that's the rock. There you go. Craft a forge found under structure. I'm guessing it's one of these. No. B? Is it B key? Craft a forge found under structures. Craft a forge found under structures. Open the craft with a C or the menu. Navigate to structures and left click on the forge. Okay, C. Structures. Got it. And a forge. Okay. Got it. I craft it, right? Do I place it? Okay, grab the crafted forge from your inventory. Inventory, okay. I place the forge down. Uh huh. X out of this. Okay, that's got a grid layer. Sure, let's place it right there. All right, so mine five. Iron ore from the nearby deposits or deposit. Um, then harvest three wood. Where's the iron ores? I'm guessing it's this one here. It was glowing, right? That's wood deposit. Okay. Dig is right. No? Yeah, dig is right click. Alright, I got that. And then where do we get the ores? Okay, I'm zooming out. 
with my mouse wheel way, way far out. Where, where am I on this tile here? I don't even know. It's kind of weird how the zoom out shows just a bunch of grid and you're not even on the grid. Oh, there you go. This is the iron ore. Okay, it's fine. Right click. Easy enough. All right, and then craft five iron ingots in the forge and collect them. Okay. E for interact. Okay. Uh, do I? I think I drag it right. No. Transfer. I click on it. Input. Oh, I guess I have to feed it with iron or with wood. I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm, all right, there you go. Probably would. There we go. All right. Reminds me of also... Um, Core Keeper, right? Because Core Keeper has a similar thing. Or, well, actually, Core Keeper uses input it. They don't need fuel. I think the one game, it's Bay Farm, right? Or, sorry, uh, My Time at Sand Rock actually uses wood. For fuel. I think something else uses the wood for fuel too. I can't remember. Uh, return from core or something, I think. Anyways, craft five iron in ingots, right? Yep. And we got it. Collect it. And then research basic extraction. I'm guessing it's somewhere down here. Yep. All right. Basic extract extraction, right? So we have cues up here. Okay. Cool. I guess I sit around and wait for that, right? Yeah, it doesn't look like I can pan up and down. Here, what is this? The settings? Settings. Graphics. Okay. Audio. Door. Increase my... I don't know if I, that's gonna mess up anything. I don't know. I'll leave it. All right, so it's done. Okay, so now craft two cranks. How do I craft cranks? Two cranks. Cranks. Cranks, okay. And iron and two planks. How do I get planks? Um, material, thin wood. Now, is there a structure for cr creating planks? Crank drill. Wood chest. So how do I make planks? Yields. Okay. Let's let's see if we can get some more wood. I don't know if that's something I need here. Oh, okay. Wood, uh, it's automatic. It's just automatic. Planks are just directly from wood. Okay. And then, what was the other one? Cranks is iron ingots. Okay, what happened to my iron ingots? It just took it from me. Yeah, I think it just took it from me. All right, sure. Interact. There you go. Throw that in there. Huh. What happened to the other ones? I guess it's only... I think it's two, two for one or something. Shift click, right? There you go. Let's do that. I don't hear the music anymore.
I guess we sit around and wait for this. There's no fast forward, right? Yeah, it's no fast forward. Alright, so... Alright, I guess that's fine. I'll take some of this off. And then go to the craft menu. Crank drill. Cranks, right? Craft two cranks. One. Two. Okay. So you just basically click on this. Okay, that one is not something I can do. But this turns out like it says craft sites, player and assembler. Craft site is forge. Player and assembler. Okay. Alright, and then what else? Uh, three planks. Oh, I don't actually have the planks. I have to click on it. Got it, got it, got it. I get it. This is actually showing what I can craft. This is my actual inventory. Got it, got it. Craft, um... Crank drills, right? It's from player, so one of these. Place the crank drill on the iron ore deposit. Okay, and then interact with the crank drill and crank it to power. Oh, okay, so I actually have to right left click and then hold this. What's the difference between here and there? Eh, weird. Rotate the crank to dispense into the iron forge. Rotate R. The crank drill into the iron forge. Oh, maybe I need to put the iron forge underneath it. Or does it go in there? Interact? Con uh, connection range. What's connection range? Oh. I see. This is the blind man. Can I kind of remove this? Okay, it's right click to remove it. And then tab key to get it back, right? There we go. And then we're gonna go over here. E to interact. Rotate it. And then crank it up. And then E to interact forge. Is it increasing? I'm guessing I have to provide it wood. E to interact. Okay. Resources remaining. E to interact with that. Well, we might need more fuel. Let me go get more wood here. Rat. Let's, yeah, we're, we're basically getting more wood here. Hopefully, this is going to be fine. We're probably going to need to automate this, right? Unless there's wood nearby. Somewhere I can stretch it. Oh, here, shift click, click right? There we go, shift click. Alright, where is... Why is it... Why is it not running? I just provided the fuel, so... Is it... Is it not on? Is 
suspensing it. Oh, I guess I need to collect it, right? I think the maximum limit is five. Uh, yep, maximum limit is five. There needs to be, I need to, oh, whoa, dig. Oh, I can dig stones. Craft a wooden chest. That's five flanks. There it is. Huh, why is it? Why is it so... Why is it so shady here? Like, is that supposed to be like... Weird, right? Those little dots. What? What is that? Is that supposed to be some graphics glitch? I think that's a graphics glitch or something. Whoa! What just happened to me? Oh, I died. I died. Oh my god! I died on this. What is this? Recover cube. Interact. Oh, that's stuff that I lost on the ground. Oh, interesting. That's soil. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what that those dot dot see those square dots? I'm guessing it's like missing graphics or something. Hang on, let me see if I can increase the resolution here. Okay, it does work, right? No, hang on. I have to probably reset you guys to see it better. There you go, alright. That should be fine. I think this is fine, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it like that. So I can see better right now. Everything's tiny on my screen with the default Windows mode setting. Alright, so get more of this. Which is right click. And then I'm going to craft some wood chests. Hello? Craft three times. Uh, what happened to my wood? Oh, it's probably in my inventory. Yep, it's instantaneous almost. Place the wooden chest down next to the forge. Okay. Done. Alright, then what? Q is for clear, and then collect 10 iron ingots. Probably needs wood, or I need to crank it up. Okay, it's probably going in there now, right? Yeah, it is. All right, that works. Collect 10. Find two void matter in a nearby chest. Right, how do I find void matters? Okay. And then how do I find void matter here now? Okay, what is this? Ancient chest. Two void matter in nearby chest. Oh, okay. Nearby chest. Got it. Expand the apotheos emitter. What the hell is that? Oh, this is the apoth apotheos. Interact. Does that do anything? Do I click on this? 
Unlock region. Ten. Oh, okay. Did it work? I guess it did work. Mainframe upgrading. Explore nearby for an ancient tech. Upgrade at Apotheos mainframe. Explore nearby for an ancient tech. Okay, so now I actually can see myself when I fully zoom out. You see that? Ooh, look at that. It's got a surface. Alright, so what do I do? Explore nearby for an ancient tech. There's something. It's got to be over here, right? Um, I'm guessing dig? Whoa. Oh, what is this? And then upgrade something. Uh, upgrade the mainframe. Yeah, this feels like uh, Starbound for sure. I used to play a lot of Starbound. I actually have not played Terraria. I played it a little bit. I have it. Um, but I think the... I like the... The Starbound graphics better, but they've improved a lot of Terraria um, over the years. I need to jump back in and try that again. Where is the nearby tech here? I'm guessing that is the nearby tech. Hang on. There are lights? Like a torch or something? Like in Starbound, I have to like place torches all over the place. Same with Core Keeper. All these cavern exploration requires some sort of light, usually. Alright, I think this is it, right? Harvest. Entangled ancient tech. Collect. Nice. All right, we got that. Upgrade at Apotheos mainframe. All right, how do I... Oh, shit. Oh, no. There we go. Hit the S key to jump. Hover. Okay, the hover works, actually. I can jump off of the hover point. Interact? Can I... Upgrade at... Um, the Apotheos' mainframe. Requires a lot of void matter to upgrade this. How do I... This must be the mainframe. Okay, cool. Look at that. Upgrade at Apotheos' mainframe. Do I pick something? Increase projectile power. Increase inventory space. Increase crafting speed. Grants the power of the Apotheos. Boosting health by 4. Mining speed by 2%. Crafting speed. Uh, brute. Increase sword power. And then increases maximum health. What do I do? I'm guessing I pick something. <laughs> Increases projectile power? No, doesn't work. I can't click on any of this. How do I get off of this? I interact with the mainframe, but what do I do? Upgrade at uh, Atheseus' mainframe. What do I do? I guess I can only do the middle. Oh, uh, I can only do middle. Yeah, start in the middle and then you choose anywhere you want to go. Navigate up 
and reach the surface of the world. Press V to swap combat mode. Kill on an oil slime. Destroy an oil slime spawner. Okay. Eat it. Get out of this. Alright, looks like the surface kind of climb. Uh, dig. Can I climb it? I can't climb it, right? I think I can only do these jumps. Maybe it's not a wise idea to remove the platforms. Hmm. It's a good thing I haven't removed anything. There's got to be a way. I think you could make you could you could probably add platforms, right? I saw the. Oh wait. Oh, there you go. Reminds me of, like, Donkey Kong. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Bad idea. Removing the, uh... Of the vines. Whoa. These guys look crazy. Uh, what is it? Press B to swap combat mode. Oh, hey, that wasn't terribly bad, right? B. And discover an expansive iron ore deposit. Hang on, let's go back and kill these guys. This one guy here. These guys look scary. They look like they've got the uh, scream mask on. From that movie Scream. All right, so discover an expansive iron ore deposit. Discover an expansive wood deposit. Discover a stone deposit. And discover a mana deposit. How do I do that? No discovery. What's this one? What's curse log? What's curse log? Not it. Where, where on this map do I see it? I'm guessing it's whatever is highlighted. It could be up here. Hmm. All right, it's kind of cool that you can actually climb the vines. I'm going to take a wild guess and these no deposits, it's probably on the surface. Since they led us to the surface. It's probably how it is. Yeah, the... The digging is a little slow. And I wish there was some sort of lighting. Either a torch or some sort of light on the guy. This also slightly reminds me of Rift Breaker, even though Rift Breaker is more 3D um, action RPG style. Uh, because you have like this guy that's a robot. It looks like he's got only legs. Um that is separated from his body for some reason, right? Like he's floating on top of the legs. Which is interesting. 
They don't look connected. Okay, that looks like some sort of tree node. Oh, there we go, some lighting, nice. All right, what is this? Is that a tree? An expansive wood deposit. Ooh, I love the parallax scrolling here. Yeah, very uh, starbound like here. Gum vines. What is this one? Down tree. Nope, that's not it either. What does a expansive iron node look like? Maybe it's this one. Play pot, okay. Is that it? The stone deposit, right? I've discovered it. What's it? I mean, this is a a stone deposit, right? Right click. There you go. Or right, what else? It looks like it's shinies. Kind of like in a uh, core keeper. If it's shiny. It must be it. Oh, oh, shit, that's not it. Yeah, it must be the shinies, right? Silver ore. Well, that's not it, right? That's not what we're looking for. Or at least that's not the quest. That's not the quest related. Yeah, I don't hear any music for some reason. I only heard it in the intro. I did enable the music. Oh, I see. If you remove the background, you can get light into the area. I think that's how you get light. Alright, so it was not on the surface. Maybe we just keep exploring the surface. Alright, so right click on the background to get the tiles out. I'm trying to think of the uh, another game that I played similar to this. Where I kept playing hours and hours of this just to... See the surface and everything. I'm guessing those pixelated dots are like Bog of War or something. B key. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Down tree. Key. Oh shit, I died. Oh, come on! Oh my god. I died. Probably somewhere over there, right? I gotta go get my cubes. I think I can... Oh, shit. I was in the, um... Combat mode. 
Yeah, to get lighting, you just basically right-click in the background. Like that. Okay, so I figured that out. Nice. You see that? That's how you get lighting. Just right-click the background tile, let the, uh, the lighting seep through. Oh, that's not gonna gonna take forever to get that lighting there. E to interact, right? Get my cube back. B key. So that was not, I think that background is like, unexplored area. Alright, what is this? B key off? Soul Bloom? Hmm, interesting. Alright, so where do I get wood deposits? Discover an expansive wood deposit, expansive iron deposit. We just passed something over here. Alright, what what is this? Is it an iron? Mana deposit. Ooh. Alright, it is shiny, so. so. We've got mana deposit now, right? So let's figure out. There's another shiny over there. Yeah, I'm guessing it's anything that's just a shiny. Whoa, more light. Okay. Yeah, it's very dark, but removing the background helps, certainly helps. What is this? That's iron. There we go, we got iron. It's really the trick, basically. Finding the shinies. Always the shinies, right? Chasing shinies. That's, I think that's what people do, right? Searching for Pokemons, chasing shinies. The shiny Pokemons. This looks like the wood deposit right here. Nice. Okay. The so research basic transportation technology. Craft some transport tubes. All right. Research. Um, essential folding. Automation. Basic transportation. And then craft some transport tubes. And then place a transport tube to be collected uh, from, dispense into a transport tube. Wait, what does transport tubes do? Well, first of all, we gotta research it, right? Hello? Do I, do I leave the screen? Hello? What do I need to research it? 
Remove from queue. Inspect. Do I learn it? Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Just remove something there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what, what I'm doing here. Required materials. Iron gears. Oh. Maybe I need iron gears. Hang on. I should be doing this. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. That's a bad idea. Okay, this is a big rock. Or this is a left click. I'm trying to get some light in here. I think I have to go... How much... Oh, hang on. How much ores do I have? I have, uh... Ingots, right? I have silver ores. I don't have any ores. I have one, right? Let's take a look at the craft menu. Five pieces of gears. Requires ingots. Oh, I need 10 total. Alright, so I need ingot. Yep, I need ingots. What do we got here? No ingots. How long does that bar go for? I don't know why it's not continuous. Oh, I shouldn't do that. And the transfer all? Shift click is transfer stack. Right click is split. There we go. Take out the inventory. Close out the forge. Let's see here. Let's harvest some of this. A little one here. Oh, that little rock basically became a giant boulder. It's funny, right? see playing this uh, in terms of base building like if you just want to build like a nice little base because one of the things I like about uh, playing Starbound is running around and collecting uh, different terrains and decorations so I can go back to my base or my ship and Starbound and just decorate Got that auction not included crap the world vibe to it. Except for your control in the um, the main character. Well, it's technically in craft the world, you do kind of control the dwarves. Because they have combat in that game. Alright, let's check up on this guy. Need to put something right here. Did 
There we go. That's what I thought. How do I get off of that? Q for clear, right? I need more of this. Holy shit. I need more of this. Oh, that's silver. Hang on. Craft? Yeah, see? I need gears to be able to do the research. And, uh... How long is it? Why is it? Oh, you know what? I think this is what it is. I think the crank bar goes down. Uh, I think that's what it is. So the more you crank it, the more you get, or the longer you'll get. It's interesting. Alright, let's see here. C. How many more do I need? So iron gears is basically the thing that's used for researching. Which is interesting. Uh, so we're learning a lot of interesting things here. Game mechanic wise. What is this bar here? I think this bar is my health, right? What's W key? What is W? I get out of this menu. What's W do? What's this button do? Nothing. Alright, so we've okay, so we've got the technology. Let's craft some tubes here. There are tubes. Tubes transport iron gear and two iron ingots. Okay. Yeah, that means we need more of this. Right. Let's go ahead and interact with this. Okay. C key. One. I think it auto creates it for us. Place a transport tube to be collected from and dispense into transport tube. What do I do? Uh, transports items over a range at 150 items per minute. Do I rotate it? Uh, hello? Oh shit. Uh, clear. Q. Dig. Okay. Uh, left click takes it out, right? Oh shit. What do I do here? Right click. Rotate? Can I rotate? Yeah, I can rotate it. Left click. And then Q for clear. Um, okay, dispense into a transport tube. How do I dispense into a transport tube? Um, okay, I think I have an idea. I have an idea. <laughs> um... All right, so what's just trying to tell me to do is funnel that, right? Open the chest. Let me take this out. Let me take the chest out. Can I take the chest apart? Eek. I'm thinking.
Oh, I'm thinking here. How do I... I, I get the idea of what they're trying to show me or tell me. They want me to automate. Um, mining stuff. That means I have to create a lot of different... Different things to, to mine all that from the top down, right? That's a lot of transport tubes, too. From the top down. Alright, well, the easiest way to move past the quest objective is... Is probably cutting the, the forge out. And then, um, and having it funnel into the, um, the tube, the ore, right, right click off that, E to interact, R to rotate, right, transport tube, rotate, I wonder if, oh, okay, it does go around the corner. Okay, and then here. Okay. Like that, right? And then the chest can go back to the side here. Okay. Alright, let's find out if this to clear, either interact, uh, and then control, I think, there we go, and then either interact this one, I think this is, there you go, all right, so it progresses, researching foundations technology, place scaffolding over the top of a transport tube, place scaffolding over the top of a structure, okay, what do we got here? Foundation technology, right? It requires 10 stones and 10 planks. Do I have 10 stones and 10 planks? I don't have planks. But we should be able to make 10 planks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I don't see it actually queued. It says I've got 14 planks down. I guess the queue is down here, right? It's not at the top left corner. All right, that's cool. And then place scaffolding over the top of a transport tube. Do I jump on it? No, right. Okay, the transport tube is in the background. Harvest the white cap. Ooh, white cap is wood. Okay. What's this? Resin? Okay. There, what else can I craft here? Ladder. Scaffolding. Requires two planks. Place scaffolding. Two, three, four, five. Um, over the top of a transport tube. you to clear right okay Q to clear okay place the scaffolding over top of the structure huh. okay 
Yep, alright, so I can jump between these things. Alright, so then research intermediate extraction. Thank you to clear this. What is this? And it requires 20 ingots. Holy shit. We have 20 ingots. Yes, we do, actually. Alright, and then craft a, combust a combustion drill. And then place a combustion drill. What do I do with a combustion drill? What does combustion drill do? Inspect. Fuel mining equipment for excavation of ore affixes to back wall. Fueled mining equipment for excavation of ore. Fix us to back wall. What's the difference between that and the regular drill? Yeah. Immediate extraction. Oh, one is crank drill. One is, okay. I think one is a crank drill. We have to crank it. What does this require? Ingots and iron. Ingots. It requires a forge. Okay. Requires a forge. Right. And then what else? Requires three ingots. We have three ingots, right? And then iron. One, two, three. And then what else? And then, let's see here, C. One of these. Okay, now I have one. I'm guessing I'm gonna remove this, right? Let's go ahead and remove this. A tab to get out of it. Right click. And then place a combustion tab key, right? Okay. And then what else? Need to interact? Oh, I'm guessing you just put the fuel right into it. Oh, look at that. It has nowhere to go. Okay, hang on, let me take this out. I think I got the hang of this idea. Oh, that's a big stone, right? Um, I don't need this anymore. Um, why can't I pick that up? My inventory is probably full. Yeah, my inventory is probably full. I'll put this here. I'll place the tubing here. R key to rotate. Downward. Oh, you actually see it moving in the... in the thing. Yeah, you can actually see the tube fill up. Oh, there you go. All right, well, that's kind of cool. So automa a forge merged into the uh, immediate extractor. Research automation technology. All right, I'm getting the hang of this. And that requires 10 mana and 10 iron. We have 10 mana. We have 10 iron. That theoretically should work, right? Ten mana, ten iron. I think it just takes longer to get that. Research automation technology. Place down an assembler. Place down a crank generator. And then power the assembler with a power relay. Oh, interesting. What does the assembler do? Uh, 
inspect. Uh, accepts components and outputs the programmed product. Accepts components and outputs the programmed product. Okay, I'm guessing I can program something. And then crank a generator. A power generator that must be routinely repowered by hand. Okay. So it's kind of like cranking up the the other thingy, right? How we were able to crank the um, the drill. Hence the name Crank Drill. Manifiber, a binding material with innate magical powers. Manifiber. Distributes power to nearby machines. Interesting. Okay, okay. We're getting somewhere. I'm understanding this. I dig it. All right, so what, what else? What, what does this say? Assembler, right? I need to go get mana crystals. I need to get more iron ingots. You know what? I'm gonna give all this up to that. The forge I don't need anymore, right? I should probably just put the forge in here. I don't I don't need this cranky thingy anymore, right? Let me take some of the soil off. Well actually I could probably use some of that. Was, um, what is this? Silver ore? Let me take the silver ore out for now. I don't know what the hell these things are. My bag is all full. Uh, but we definitely need to go... Go up to get the mana crystals. I wish there was a way to pan the screen. Maybe I don't know how to do that. I'm only using the zoom in, zoom outs. Right, there's there's no way to pan the screen here. Is it arrow keys? No. Yeah, see. Where is my mana crystals? Where, where are the... Where is that mana crystal node that we found earlier? There's something there, too. Yeah, I gotta go back and look for all the the places we visited. Sandstone. Not it. Yeah, shit. Let's see. Something's in here, right? Ancient bricks. Oh, that's how we got ancient bricks earlier. What is this? Interact with Crank? Crankos. I don't know what the hell that is. Curse logs. There's a chest over here, I think, right? Or no, it's a clay thingy. Or, um... Or pot. Where the hell was the mana crystals? I'm guessing it's maybe over here, right? Somewhere over here. I think that's the mana crystals over there. Hmm. 
No, that's stone deposit. What's this? Silver deposits. Yep, I wish there was a way to track down where the hell the mana crystals were. Oh, alright. I'm gonna keep looking around the screen here. That is silver, right? Or whatever the hell. Sand deposit or something. We must have gone... Well, can't be that far off. I mean, we can only backtrack. I mean, this might be it over here. I forgot. That's, there we go, that's mana deposit. And then there was something else. Iron and wood. Um, iron, wood, and silver. How much do we have? Got 20 sucks. Maybe we should get a little bit more just in case. I mean, yeah, I guess I could throw an extractor here and then come back to it, right? Or or create a um a tube to go all the way down. What is this one? Iron ore. The fungi. Okay, that looks like it's got a large background, or a large deposit count. I could probably automate that. No, I think that's wood up there, right? Yeah, that's wood deposit. Okay. Alright, so we've got wood over there. We got iron over there. Um. Okay. What else? Okay, so. Place down in Sumbler. Okay, man, iron gears, right? Iron gears. How do I get the ingots again? Oh, it needs to go into a forge to get the ingot. Uh... Okay, okay, okay. I get it. Let's, um... So we still need the forge. Yep, we still need the forge. And it needs fuel. Yeah, it needs fuel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so the ingots! Okay, that does not produce ingots. It gives me ores. It should, yeah, it's giving me ores. Alright, that means I still need wood. Lots of wood. Okay, alright, I'm getting the hang of this. I need to go get some wood. Or automate the wood deposit to that. Alright, I don't see any other wood source. Okay, so the wood source is probably from that location. How's the scaffold? How do I make more scaffold? That's just wood 
Okay, all right. How far is the wood? How far is the wood? I can't tell. Okay, it's right there, actually. Okay. So I need to get the wood to tunnel all the way down. What I could do is funnel this up to reduce the the distance, right? Why don't we do that? All right, so I get I have some ideas. Well, this is the ingot, right? Or sorry, this is the furnace. All right, hang on, let me see here. Which direction can this crank go? And go that way, right? Okay. We can turn this around. All right, let me take this off. Okay, so scaffold can go here. What if they have to stack on top of it? I don't think so, right? Okay. The one jump. Two jumps. All right, that could be fine. Oh, hang on, Q to clear. Oh, X, get out of that. Okay, so scaffold. Hang on, I might be able to put this up here, right? Yeah, all right, that's fine. One key. Two key. That's fine. I'm gonna put this up here too in case I need to make some, some stone tiles. Okay, so that could go. Hang on, let's see here. How much how much can I how many tubings can I make? Two key. Iron ingots and gears. Oh Jesus. Okay. In here. Uh, I'll take some of this. U key. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of these. So I can make more two wings, right? And this requires wood. And then split. I mean, one thing I could do is... Um, I could just dump it out until I get enough. All right, hang on. Where is the wood? I think it's directly over here, right? Where's the wood? I forgot where the wood was. Yeah, I'm trying to get access to the wood. Create the scaffold. Uh, towards it. Oh, hey, there's a little log here. I'll take it. <laughs> oops, 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 oops. 
All right, so that's the iron. Okay, so the wood is actually right there. It literally is right there. Now I see it. Yeah, now I see it. All right, so one key, right? Uh, it's height of three, height above it. Key off. Q key, key. Okay, one key. Yes. Okay, not clear. Hang on, one key, right? There you go. All right, I'm gonna put soil here just so I don't fall off. Um, yeah, okay, the vine is kind of cool. Um, Yeah, I don't know of any other way to make light other than... Um, to remove the background, right? Alright, so how do I get the wood deposit? I gotta crank it, right? I gotta create an automated crank. But that requires wood to generate some wood, right? I don't know how that's gonna work. Alright, I need a forge. And I need ingots. Can't make that work without ingots. Q. Q to clear. Shit. I need to clear this. Yeah, for some reason it's not hopping down, but... Alright, so let me take this out. This is crank, right? I mean, I guess I could crank it for now, right? I feel like it's a waste, though. You take these ingots out. I need to place an assembler. Well, let's make an assembler first. One assembler. Place out a crank generator. Where's the crank generator? Crank generator. And the assembler, power the assembler with a power relay. Okay. Let's go up and see if we can use that to our advantage somehow. Or actually, it might be down below. Oh, I've got all these iron ores. Can I, can I dump all this in here? No, I cannot. I think that's eventually going to run out. Hang on, let me turn this off. Alright, well, I have a shit ton of iron. Let me just take all this off. Hmm. Now let's see here. Maybe I can just go to the top to do it. I mean, the only thing I can think of is feed the wood 
into itself to generate wood, right? Let's find out what this does. Element three. Uh, tab out, uh, tab out, Q to clear. All right, so well, let's put down the the thingy first. What is it? Assembler? Hang on, let me put the this over here. And then put the assembler over here. All right, so the assembler, and then crank generator. And power the assembler with a relay. Oh. Interesting. Do I go in there? I don't know. Is that how it works? I don't know. It's not working. How's that? I don't know if that works. E. Ah, shit. Clear. Remove it. Right click, right click to remove. Let me remove this. Um. Well, according it, the the thing just. <laughs> our quest disappeared, but. I'm guessing whatever's in that box radius is it. Clear, right? How does this crank generator work? Oh. Alright, so now, what is this? What do I do with this? How do I clear this? How do I clear this out? Eat or interact. Select a recipe. Two? Transport two. And then I need to have input to it. There. Alright, so it dumps it out, right? So here, can I get a box? No. Hang on, I gotta clear it out, right? There. Oh, now we got a little assembler that makes our thing. Research essential folding technology. Clear, what is that? I need 30 cranks and 30 iron iron gear. I'll take this. I need 30 cranks though. Um, how many ingots? Hmm. Let's see here. One, two. Refine 30. Let me take can I take off 30? Let me take half of this off. There we go. Let me take this all, all off. Oh shit! Damn it. Twenty, and then ten, and I need to get thirty wood. I'll just take it from there, I guess. It's not the most efficient thing to do. 
I could get the crank generator to do it for me, but then I have to still wait on it, right? Let me see, what else was it? And then, uh, I think it was 30, 30, um, metal thingy too, right? 30 gears, right? 30 gears. All right, hang on. I got to switch over to this. Uh, I'm gonna make all of it. All right. So while that's working, I'm gonna use the bathroom. So BRB. So it looks like we got more than 30. I think this makes two yields, right? So that's probably why we have 60. It's fine. Close this. For some reason I'm not closing. Interact. Um, so you're right click. 33, close enough. <laughs> and then that should give us cranks. And then I'm gonna go back down here. Let's see what we got down here. Bars, right? Yeah, I'll take the bars out. And then I gotta make 28 of these. Bars, two ingots. Ugh, oh, shit, we're short too. We need more wood. Can I feed it? Do you, can I? Can I feed it soil? No. Biomass, generic refined vegetation. Hmm. All right, close enough. <laughs> we'll take that. And take some of this. Ores, right? Alright, so then I need 30 of these. So we gotta run through that again. Alright, that's all 30. Does it work it while I'm working or no? It is generating while I'm working. Or it's auto crafting it while I'm running around. So that's kind of cool. I don't have to stop the animation. All right, so that should be fine. This is the crank generator stopping? Is the power stopping? I don't know what's wrong with the power. Or maybe it's this. No? Wait, recipe input is two planks. Oh, two planks. All right, so I did make enough, right? It was actually one for two. All right, so that's good. I actually did made enough. Okay, so I did make enough. And then the research. I mean, I have the gears. It actually should start working. Let me 
crank up the thingy some more. But yeah, you gotta basically use your mouse to go around in circles like that. It basically provides, what, 27? So whenever this ends, we know we'll have it exactly enough. Alright, so that is it, right? So now we just gotta sit around and wait. And because the next thing is research essential folding technology. That's what we're working on. Alright, and then place down the distiller, uh, foldery, and then research fortification technology with the uh, foldery. Which is this one, right? Well, seems like a pretty straightforward game. I mean, the world's... There's a lot to the world, right? And since this is the demo, I imagine we're not going to be able to explore everything. I'm guessing we're only able to explore whatever's here. That's my guess. Yeah, that's my guess. Usually these demos... Usually is my guess on some of these Steam Next Fest demos, there's either a time limit or there's like a sort of um, quest point where it says, hey, congratulations, you just beat the demo. But we're waiting on this, right? While that's happening, I should be, I should probably try to, wait, what's happening? Why can't I move? Why can't my guy move? Yeah, it's weird, right? Why can't my guy move? E to interact? What the hell? I mean, this moves. Wait a minute. I can't move for some reason. Oh my god, the game's bugged. I can't I can't do anything. Why can't I move? All of a sudden my guy stops working. He's stuck in place. Can't even click on this. I can't interact with anything either. What is going on? Hello? The game's bugged, guys. It's terrible. I can't hit the R key, can't hit the E key. I don't know what's going on here. All of a sudden, the game just stops working. Like, I can't hit the key, any keys. This is really bizarre. Oh, if I can do this, I can't right click, I can't left click, I can't even move. I can't even hit the E key on this. It's as if after the research of the thing, it just stops working. I can't even hit C key. Can't jump? Can't hit anything. What the hell is going on? Oh my god, this game is buggy. Yeah, it just stops working. Maybe I'm zoomed out for so long. On that key. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Save game? Exit game. Oh shit, exit the whole thing. Oh, come on. All right, well, game is bugged. All right, so I had to reload the game. Hopefully this will 
let me move my character. All right, so now we can move our character. So yeah, I don't know what the hell happened. It, it bugged out. So hitting that ex exit basically close the window. Um, all right, so what else? Okay, place down the distillery. How do I do that? Bouldery, distillery, silver ingots, and iron gears. We need more iron gears. And uh, I get more of this wood here. I wonder if this thing can create me iron bars. No, right? It does not create iron bars. Huh. I think what I need to do is get a crank thing here, right? Crank drill. I have a crank drill, right? Okay, here we go. Inventory. And then E key. And then E to interact, right? Rotate. Oh, it gets me logs. Okay. All right, there you go. I'm going to leave that running. While I go get some silver. I think I have silver, right? I probably have silver down at the bottom. Yeah, the reason why it won't let me jump down is probably because of the soil that's next to it. I have a little bit of silver. Let me see if I can rotate this. Or rope, ugh, I guess remove it, right? Where's my silver? Shit, I think I forgot to take it out. Yep. Hmm. All right, there we go. I need the forge to make my silver. Input and then wood. All right, how many silver ingots do I need? Six silver ingots. That means I gotta go back up to get more. Yes, that. This thingy right here is killing me. Making it hard for me to drop down. Alright, where was that silver ingot? You might be up there. I don't know. Or it might be... I think that might be it up there. Hang on, let me just go straight up with this ladder here. Cannot dig. It's a support item. Okay. So we're going to basically create the scaffold to go straight up. One. I don't have enough scaffold. Oh, I do have one left.
Or is that silver? I think that's not silver though. Yeah, shit. No, it's stones. Where the hell did I have the silver? I'm pretty sure that is stones as well. I don't think that's silver. Oh, it is silver. <laughs> nice, I'll take it. So I just need to automate this at some point, right? I mean, the whole point of the game is to automate this. But I am lazy right now. And I don't mind mining it. some silvers. How many do I need? I probably need more than that. Alright, six. And that is crank and mana fiber. What the hell is mana fiber? Oh, it's also silver ingot. Jesus. Alright, three mana fiber. One, two, three. Five cranks. Two power relays. I need one more power relay. Which is mana crystals and two silver. Or sorry, two, two regular whatever the hell. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna go up. We're gonna take... We're gonna get our... Our wood here from this crank. Crank this some more. I need more wood. Energy is still going down. There you go. And then this one over here. How many? How many? Cr uh, how many crank relays do I need? Five. I can make that myself. One, two, three, four, five. And then what else? And then power relays. All right, I'm gonna take this power relay off. Don't need it. There. So yeah, well, no, there's two there for some reason. Right? Oh yeah, 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 two, 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 two. Mana fiber, I've got five, right? Why can't I? Why can't I make that? Oh, it's oh, it requires to be an assembler. It does require to be an assembler. What is it? Which one is it? Boundary, right? Five of these. Shit, let me take this off. E, E key. Yeah, the controls are slightly wonky. In terms of... Removing whatever you've, you've got in your hand. There. That gets me a foundry. And the other one is six silver gods and five iron, right? We'll come back to that. And I think I need more mana or more silver. Yeah, I need more silver. 
I should set up like a crank. I mean, either way, I have to crank it, right? Or provide it fuel. I think setting up the crank might be faster. We got it, right? Let's crank that. 10 seconds to craft it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's put this here. Oh, the output doesn't go anywhere until we dump it somewhere. Hmm. We have a chest? Okay. Hmm. Alright, so we're gonna put the chest right here. Oops. Yeah, see, it just doesn't... So annoying. This this part of the the selection, I have to hit the Q key to clear it, and then switch it. Which is really silly. R key, right? Yeah. So I can't just choose. Well, this in this situation, I can. But there you go. Well, that should work. Yeah, some ways it kind of reminds me also of the um, Craftimation game. Yeah, re reminds me of the craft Craftimation game. All right, let me go back. Oops. And then get that out. And then get that out. Crank this some more to get me some more wood here. I mean, ideally, I should be automating everything, right? And that's the purpose of the point of the game. But it's cool that there is stuff that we can automate. Trying to get the automation. Okay. Silver ore. The biomass. Let me switch this out with the biomass. Because I might need the planks. Alright, what else now? To get this, I need ingots and iron thingy, right? I need five. Five of these. One, two, three, four, five. I can see the little icon right there is showing that it's being crafted. I think. No, oh, maybe not. I don't know. What is that? What is that little icon there? Weird. All right, so that's fine. And then to get this, it has to be in the assembler, right? Any six ingots, five iron ores. Yeah, 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 yeah. We actually have what we need. Okay. And then new recipe. Distiller. All this in here. Six. We'll have to come back to it. All right. So, ten per one minute. Done. And now we get the distiller. All right. So now we just need what? Place down distiller. Place down the 
founder of Foldery and the research fortification technology with the Foldery. Okay. How's that going to play out here? See here, three. Huh. Must have lost the other one. Uh, tap key, tap key. Distiller. See, see how this is stuck there, and I can't click on it. It's silly because I have to put that back down. Um, sure. And then what else? Bouldery. And the relay? I guess I'll take a relay right here. The relay go there? Crank it up. I don't know. We'll find out. It might not be range. Oh, it is in range. Alright, it's in range. And then what is this? Research something something? Foldery? Input? With the foldery? How do I research that with the foldery? Acquires, um... Materials, mechanical essence. Oh. Uh, how many how many is this? One of each. And what do you need? Forty. Oh boy. Okay. I see how this might be useful. What is this? Silver no, let's take this off. I need forty of these, right? So 40 of iron ingots, one. How do I s transfer stack, transfer all? How do I split the smaller? I can't move it to a separate stack for some reason. Oh god damn it. Damn it. Yeah, I don't know. Screw it, I'm gonna stick the whole damn thing in there. Uh, wood, right? Hang on, I gotta go over here to make the wood. I think the crank needs two planks. Let's just do dump the whole thing in there. I can always get more off of this. So we need the cranks. And then we need the uh, this thingy. I'm gonna start this up, I guess. And then we're gonna need the ingots. This thingy here, right? Because I'm out of ingots. We need essence to actually do the re the research. Dump all the ores into this thing. I wonder if there's a way to also 
have it funnel exactly the num like funnel the the number Yeah, because I don't think these tubes actually hold that much. It doesn't matter, I gotta come back to it anyways, right? There. Now this over here. Oh, this needs to go somewhere too, doesn't it? Uh, damn it. It needs a, it needs a place to output this. Can I stick this here? Uh, tab out. Close this. No, it doesn't go like that. I don't know if it, I don't know if it has to be on that cell. I think it has to be on that cell. I think it has to be on that cell. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Q for clear. And I'm gonna dig that out. And you know the box right here. Yeah, I need another box right here. Unless unless I can move this somewhere. And then put the box right here, right? James, move the crank over here. Yeah, I guess I can try that. Oh, the relay can actually be in the air. Oh. Okay. Cue to clear. Tab key, crank generator, key to interact, okay, and we're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna rotate that, okay, let's take this off. Q to clear. So now at this point, this should generate that, right? And E, I think I got everything I need off of it. Alright, I got my cranks. Take this off. Ah, oh, shit, doesn't matter. I need 30 of the metal. 30 of the, um, the gears. To get the, um, essence running. And I think that gear requires two pieces of that, right? Jesus. That means I need 60 metal. Yeah, I need 60 metal. Right, I need about 11 more of that. And so I need to wait to go, I'm gonna go back up and use the assembler to do this for me.
But I think that might be faster than me trying to click, 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 click. But it does save me fuel when I don't do it, right? Well, actually, no, it's it's just basically cranking my hand. That's not bad, right? It's almost the same. Yeah, I don't know what happened there earlier. I think if I stand there for too long, it won't it bugs out. And make sure my character is moving. All right, all I need right sixty of those. Now we're gonna go make some some gears. In this assembler. There you go. Oh, I can move the windows around. Oh, I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Yeah, you can actually hold this down and move it. Oh, I can move this. No, it's probably pinned. Yeah, it's probably pinned. What is this W key, though? V key? Oh, V. It's a V key, not a W key. Interesting. Alright, so we're gonna go... I'm gonna go check up on the silver. Alright, so we've got a little bit of everything. I want to make sure we get more bars here. Plug that in there. And the other one was needing fuel, right? I'll wait on that. I can't put that in there, right? Yeah, I can't put it in there. I'm trying to just empty out my iron. What is that? E key? Why is that E key? Oh, alt? Is it alt? Locked. I don't know what the lock key thing is. There's like a lock icon, I think. I have no idea what that is. Sure, I'm gonna dump that in there. I know what this is now. It's just vines, basically. Biomass. We can use biomass, right? Yeah. Oh, it's biomass is locked in that spot. Huh. We right click off of it for some reason. I don't know what that is. Stones? Stones. Oh, that's biomass. Oh, okay. There. Okay. Well, that should give us constant bar source. And then we're going to go back up here. Take a look at this. Get that out. Over there. Over there. Check out our crank. Now we should be able to get essence going, right? Yep. There we go. Get some essence. The so things are moving along. We have 
everything we need. Now, in the meantime, I want to decorate my thing. Three key. Q to clear. Three. That's stones, right? Right, I want to create some platforms here. Soil three, right? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Actually, I probably should just do it right here. Clear. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm kind of used to doing the auction not included platforms like the and having just platforms you know what hang on let me just do the platform like this three like that just straight across like this I don't know why there's there's green and there's not green, right? And then how do you get vines to grow? But if I keep doing this, I probably don't need the vines. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what these mushrooms do. I guess they're just logs, right? And that's just biomass. There's ways to get better torch lighting than filling in the background or removing the background for lighting. Yeah. But yeah, I'm digging I'm digging the this. The only thing that's wonky is the interface for for swapping. Maybe I can just do like a row of this. So that looks like it's kind of windows for lighting. Yeah, like that. Oh wait, I think I was gonna go one floor. No, 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 that's fine, all right. Yep, yeah, all right. All right, 
I'm okay with that, right? Oh, okay. It seems like they're growing on their own. Right, yeah. It seems like they're growing on their own. Oops. Yeah, I'm digging. I'm digging this. <laughs> It'll make things pretty. Like this. And this is my wall. I'll probably get some of that wall back. Or the uh, stone walls back. Or, um. Like this. Wait, shit. Let me remove it. Like that, yeah. So that way we get stones. What is that thing right there? Oh, it's just stones. So we can reclaim the stone backing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> getting into this. really getting into this. Huh. Oh, oh, because I filled it out. Yeah. section right there is slightly dark. Oh shit. Yeah, I, I wish there was a way to check out the lighting. We have what? We have all the essence, right? We do have the essence. Now that should start work. Oh, it's 40! Oh my god. We get it wrong. 40. So how does the foundry work? Wait, is it not researching yet? Research fortification technology with the foundry. I didn't actually use the foundry. I don't know what's, what it's doing. I don't know whether it's doing, if that's doing the right thing or not. What's happening? Oh, it is working. Oh. Okay. So, to get more of that, I need... 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Okay, basically you just dump the essence in there. There. 
right, so basically the essence is not it's not a thing that goes into my inventory. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how to get the lighting other than filling out the back wall. Mushrooms are growing, right? Yeah, the mushrooms are growing. <laughs> Hang on, let's just move this. Or how how's the scaffold made? Just planks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three at a time. Oh, it yields three. Okay, cool. Wait, this is one or no? Let's just do that, I guess. Yep, alright, so that's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh shit. Clear. Clear. There. Well, that allows us to go down if we need to. Alright. Clear. So there's ore deposit right there. Hidden underneath the soil. Yeah, I'm guessing the demo is only for this level or this this zone map. Wonder if it's like you go from zone to zone or something. And then each time it's a restart. Or you go back to all the zones whenever you want. Some games are basically level based. But I imagine you should be able to go back and forth, right? Because in Starbound and Terrera. There are different worlds to to go to and come back to, to your base. Yeah, so the mushrooms are regrowing. It's kind of like that in um, in Craft the World. What's nice is that this game isn't, like, always trying to make you upgrade your pickaxe or whatever it is. 
kind of silly all these other games are like oh you gotta have this pickaxe but like once you do it it's like well gee what do you do now <laughs> there's no point why why do you why do you even force players to go through this pickaxe thingy all right the whole pickaxe upgrade thing oh it's fine i'm not gonna even mess with that Yeah, I think the vines do grow back over time. It's kind of like the mushrooms. Or the little fungi thingy. Yeah, those are biomass. A little maintenance work here, base cleaning. Interesting. We got a clear queue. Is that different from the other one? Yeah, why is that different? Why is the scaffold different? Interesting. Is it because I lost it? I don't. What is it? Ah, huh. I think if you click on it again. It determines whether it's on or off, maybe. I don't know. Weird. Yeah, weird. Alright, let's take a look here. You should be able to be this in there. I wonder if this goes... It has to go in the same slot. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Q. crank in there at some point. I don't know why. I had to like undo my mouse again. Oh shit. Oh come on. Because I right clicked over it. Oh shit I can't write. I can't place the background behind it. Yeah it's because the Damn it. Very annoying. See what I mean? Like how the... Where did the uh, foundry... There we go. Yep. Mm. Alright, I want to redo this, I guess. Clear. Cannot dig because the chest is there. The relay can be in the middle, right? Alright, so I get anything on the. Uh, 
Where's my tube? Oh, here we go. For some reason, this thing is annoying. It's like, ugh, Q. E. Rotate. Down. Chest. I have to, like, put it back into an empty slot. To make it work correctly. I don't know how to stop these mushrooms from regrowing. All right, let's see here. Can I, how do I focus on that? The relay, right? Can I re? Can I add another relay here? Where's my relay? Trying to move the relay out. Let's see if I can move this relay. Can I interact with a relay? Let me move this out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is try to move the thing over here. Hang on, R key, right? So I want to do something like this. Break down three background fill and then two. Move that there, move that there, and then put the, the chest here. Okay, that should be fine. What's going on? I I thought I had enough. 40, right? I gave it 40. Pretty sure I gave it 40. For some reason, the research is 99%. That's not right. Let me move this over here. Because I can always stick over here, right? There, that's fine. Need to interact. says it also goes there right and then the assembler and then which way does the assembler have an have an e rotation interact with the assembler I don't know if the assembler has an E rotation. Yeah, I don't know why the assembler. Hmm. How do I do the reassembler earlier? It just basically moved it, right? Or does it automatically work? Which 
one do I want? I need this crank, right? One piece of that. Probably two, right? Won't work without it. Where's it going? Okay, it's gotta go right there. Hmm. Rotate. Okay, so I gotta put the assembler. Somewhere else. It has to be in the range. All right, so it's got to be on this bar here. That's the only way. All right, that's fine. We're going to go over here. Take the crank. Which was it? I think it was the... You need a... Oh, I don't need the crank. I need one of these. That's just missing one unit. I'm pretty sure I had exactly 40. I don't know why it did not. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the hell this is. Yeah, the interface is a little wonky. Oh, come on. Alright, we did it, right? Let me turn this off. Um, crank? Let me put the crank back. Alright. So now, find a mana conduit. Connect a power relay to the mana conduit to find it, right? And then power relay to mana conduit. What is a mana conduit like? Hmm. I wonder if I get this crank energy thing to work with. Is there a technology? Seeky, right? Man, a turret. Not a man that. Not a conduit, right? Assembler. Torch. Oh, look at that. There is a torch. Basic illumination. Alright, so we do have a torch. I just totally missed that the whole entire time. Now, what am I... What's this mana conduit thing? Find a mana conduit and connect a power relay to the mana conduit. There's a mana conduit. Oh, let me put down this assembler, too. It's taking up space in my inventory. What if it drains power when I, when there's nothing actually working, processing? I'm just curious about that too. All right, what if I die if I drop? I don't know, it doesn't look like it. go. 
What is it? Oil, right? Oil. Torch planks. Uh. There. I should do that. All right. So, Manda conduit. Is this it? This might be Manda conduit, and it looks like it. No, it's an ancient torch. Oh, you can turn on the lights. Oh, that's not Manda conduit. All right. So it looks like the M key basically opens this map. What does a mana conduit look like? Oh. I think this is the end game here, right? This is this one right here. Ancient tech? Harvest. Interact? Ooh, okay. I think that's the piece that we could have gotten earlier. Oh, we're, we're full. Yeah, we're full on that. I have an extra one of these. I don't know what we're going to do with a forge. Well, we do have torch, right? I can move a torch up here. here. Four key. Left. Oh, there we go. Oh, things are a lot brighter now. Jesus Christ, had I done that sooner? Yeah, see, all games have these these little lighting torch thing. Like, Core Keeper has it. And, um, Darbound has it. Even the Craft the World game has it. Now, I think Auction Not Included originally tried to... to have, like, a dark-only world. And everything was in the dark. That was, like, early beta. I think they got rid of that concept made it so the entire place was lit a reasonably well lit it's been a while since i played all right so i guess i can fill this up then huh oh that's a wood deposit No, that's... I guess it's from this, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. These two are the wood deposits. What is this? Oh, that's wood. Okay, this is cool. Alright, so... Conduit. Where do I find this mana conduit? It's probably gonna be a while to figure out, right? Locate mana conduit. Play requires exploring. Oh, this is so much better now, the lighting. Jesus. You can stick it anywhere you want in the walls. Yep, alright. That helps a lot. I have no idea where this conduit is. Yeah, 
Oh, shit. Let me move this out. Can I move? Where's it? Oh, torch. There, alright, so one key is my torch. It doesn't look like this guy has connecting body parts. He's just like floating above his feet. Funny, huh? Connect a power relay to the mana conduit. because this is probably attached to it. E to interact with Torch. Oh, damn it. Yeah, the, this is very non-intuitive, the way the... the way the thing interacts. Yeah, same. clear. I gotta keep, keep remembering clear, because right click doesn't do it. Where is this mana conduit? Hmm. I think my inventory is full. What can I get rid of out of my inventory? Oh, this is locked. How do I unlock it? Okay. Oh, stones. Let me get rid of the stones. Alright, so now I can collect my stones. I wonder if it's down here. I'm guessing it's gotta be somewhere down here, right? One. I don't know why that foggy thingy is there. I don't know why it glitches like that. Oh, it won't let me go there. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That looks like the extent of the demo's, I guess, playable area. I think that's what the, the foggy thing is. Hmm. Yeah, it, I'm thinking that's like, don't go there zone. know where the mana conduit is. Find mana conduit. 
and then connect the relay to it. There was a faster tool here or faster dig. Now, is there a craft? Is there a way to dig faster? It's, these are materials, right? Windows. This is a ladder. Vertical traverse construction material. Oh, okay. That might be easier than. And ammunition for things you want to destroy. Health canister and use a substance like capable of healing uh, golems and other magical beings. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if that's something I'm supposed to do. I'm guessing this is my health bar. doesn't give me any clues. What does a mana relay look like? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what a mana relay looks like. Wondered if I have to like keep searching vertically or horizontally every every screen distance to find this. I mean, that's probably the best, most efficient search pattern, right? And I can't imagine it beyond the the borders, right? Because the borders basically. Has that fuzzy do not enter zone. Because if you go there, you die. Like the world doesn't exist in the pixelated areas. Hang on, whoops. Well, hmm. I can't pan around the screen, too. I would like to. It won't let me pan the screen. It'll let me pan the map, but it doesn't pan this area. Oh, it does let me pan this area now. Ooh. Okay. Oh, there we go. Huh. I think the reason I was stuck um, might have been when I zoomed in like this, right? Or no? Hang on. Why? Why is it? Yeah. Okay. So the reason why I was stuck was because I'm in the map mode and I must have hit the M key. Yeah, the M key basically gets me out of that stuck mode. Okay, well, it wasn't bugged. It was because I hit the M key. And the only thing I can do was basically move around the map mode like this. That's what it was. Like this. So to get back out of that unstuck mode, it was the M key. 
Hmm. All right. Problem or mystery solved, and why why it seemed like it was bugged. idea where this mana conduit is. How hard can it be to find this mana conduit? Like there's no map finder that I'm aware of. There's a mana conduit. This is one of these. Conduit tapping enables fusion into a mana conduit to increase its power output. Mana bullet, mana turn, turret, quartz. Conduit tapping enables mana into a mana conduit to increase its power. Maybe I'm missing the obvious. Like maybe the mana conduit is somewhere near near our base. Find a mana conduit. And then connect power relay to mana conduit. That's a, that is a off the grid area. Yep, that's out of bounds for the demo. I don't know if it's like that in the full game. Jesus, Q. Where is this man a conduit? I'm like searching everywhere for it. It's got to be in a reasonably obvious location right we have to do a lot of crafting or whatever to it because i see like the thing says connect to is one of the technologies wonder is there if there's fast travel yeah i need i need to get back to the base like teleport, like Core Keeper has like a fast travel 
teleport crystal thingy. Recall or whatever it is. Recall idol or whatever it's called. Yeah, what was this thing again? Sandstones. Maybe it's on the surface. What is this? I forgot, what is this? Crank energy? Oh no, did I fall asleep again? Thanks for waking me up, brother. Who knows how long I was out for? I lost my cursor, guys. I lost my cursor. Shit. I lost my cursor. Huh, weird. Yeah, my cursor doesn't exist anymore in the game. Yep, I can't hit the E key. The one key, two key. Yeah, weird. I lost my cursor. Come on, the game is very buggy. I can't, I can't get anything. Damn it. Now that is definitely a bug. I lost my cursor. I, I mean, I'm randomly clicking on something. E key, M key, M key, M key out. No, two, three, one. Yeah, I lost my cursor. I mean, I can move my cursor to the bottom right corner here. That's a, the game is definitely bugged. E W key, E key, C key. My cursor's gone. Yeah. Controls. My cursor is gone. Close your eyes, escape. M. But whenever I activated that dude, it caused some sort of bug. I can't click on any of this. Yep, I can't do anything. Yeah, let me save this. I'm gonna exit the game and try it again. Alright, so we are back with the um, main menu here. Just fired up the game again. So now my cursor is back. For some reason, I'm over here. Huh. For some reason, I'm over here now. I saved too, and it just did not. I think that part of the, uh, whatever the quest is with the waking up the guy, maybe later. It might be something like find whatever the dude. But yeah, for some reason my cursor totally disappeared. And the game, when I saved it from that point on and exited, it um it brought me back down here. Huh, very weird. Very, very weird. Probably not a good idea. Click on that guy again. Don't know what the hell that was about. So yes, seems like the demo has some bugs here. I guess it's probably not a good idea to interact with that dude again.
All right, I don't know where this little mana conduit is. What is this? The tree. I'm zooming in, zooming out here. I don't think I can place that there, can I? No, I cannot. It only goes behind a wall. Alright, so I have no idea where this mana conduit is. You. Alright, I'm gonna go back into the main base and see if it's somewhere obvious, like it's really close by or something. Unless it's one of these little boxes. No, those are not it. still there. All right, I need to make a ladder, right? It's not these platforms. What is this? Canisters. Oil something. this away here put that away there ancient bricks let me put that away I don't really know how I'm doing with that conduit is this a conduit no right region locks oh I technically could go there right because that is Possible, but I don't have any void crystals. What does the mainframe do? Crafting speed, group power. I did get a technology, didn't I? I think I did get a technology. Inventory space. Projectile power. Increase maximum harvest and building area by one. Go with that one. Oh, I can't click on it. Didn't I get a... Uh, oh, no, I did. I remember, I did, but it's just I didn't pick it up. There you go. Hopefully that is the right answer. What is this? This is the ancient torch, right? Not it either. Oh. Alright, let's go down here. There was something down here earlier. Where we now? The torch, right? Let's correct, let's click it. There's no conduit here. I don't see a conduit. Well, there's not a whole lot to explore, right? It's like here and here. It can't be that that far off. Yeah, it can't be that far off. Nothing down that way. Right? I mean, if you look at this, 
the most it can be is here and here, right? Looking for any markers here on the screen. Hmm, I don't see anything. All right, let's keep going, I guess. I mean, right there is the areas that we're not supposed to go. Because otherwise, if you get too close to that, you die. That's like off the map territory. Yeah, see? It's off the map territory. If you're down there too long, you die. I gotta go back at my loot. Long, right? There. Three. You. I have no idea what a man of conduit looks like. Running out of areas, right? Where am I? I'm down here, right? Well, I mean, I can try to go vertically this way and then vertically this way. Like a best thing I can do. Well, whatever I researched doesn't seem like it's. making my dig faster. I don't have the best choice of my text points. Where, oh where, can this mana crystal be? back up. Q. Q. Conduit and link to it. Is this a mana conduit? I don't think that's a mana conduit, right? Bubble something. Alright, maybe it's one of these. I see, I see, like, it could have potential something in there.
but it's also on the edge of the the do not enter zone where you can get killed I don't know if this if this mana conduit really exists or not in the demo either why else will they give you a quest that doesn't work right could be bugged I don't know I doubt that's the mana crystals, right? It doesn't look like it. It's like any other shiny. Any other, I mean, um, mushroom shinies. Yeah, slightly frustrating not knowing where this mana crystal is. Maybe that's what the game wants us to do, is try to do exploration. To... Well, I mean, the only zone we haven't discovered is this here, and then this pocket over here, right? I mean, the only other guy, or the only other interesting thingy is that robot crank that we we cranked up, but then I end up losing my cursor when I brought him back to life. And I'm guessing there's some sort of... Maybe... A uh, cutscene or something? Or a cutscene animation of some sort that causes my cursor to disappear? But it didn't happen. Well, we can't go into that area, right? Because otherwise we're going to die again. Find a mana conduit. Very, very frustrating. And there's not a lot of interesting things here either. But I ran out of interesting things that find. I mean, the biome is kind of boring now, right? Because we've seen everything possible, right? We've already found the ancient tech room. top side for some reason that's not the graphics is not updating yeah the graphics is not updating for us you see that this zone here is supposed to be uncovered very odd see how that graphics is not updating right there even though we've uncovered it. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I don't know why.
All right, so now it's updating. But that's still not the mana conduit. Hmm. Where could this mana conduit be? Not the lights, right? It's not the lights. We've already established that. Is it on the surface? Okay, I don't think it's on the surface. Yeah, the surface are all trees. Yeah, the surface is all trees. See any mana conduits here, guys? Maybe it doesn't exist. I don't know. Or at least it doesn't exist in the demo. How hard can this thing be? I mean, it's not the tree, right? That's just down tree. Yeah, I don't know where this mana conduit thing is. Huh. This robot over here. Maybe it's by the robot, I don't know. I mean, this is the only area with a structure, platform structure. Unless it's the shiny. And the shiny is just... Maybe it is the shiny, I don't know. No. The shiny is just the sandstone. Can't be that, right? not shiny anymore. I think the shiny is just a sandstone. Unless it's behind one of these things that I have to like dig through it. Right, let's see here if it's related to this platform here. No, these are bricks, right? We got ancient bricks. God, God damn it. Nope, that's not it either. That can't be the ancient conduit, right? That's... A robot. What is this? Franco's, that's his name. Not ancient conduit. Maybe, well, I don't know, because I, I brought him back to life and then everything crashed, all hell broke loose. And my save got rolled back. I'm guessing there's auto save going on. There's no auto load. There was, yeah, there was a continue only and a new game only button, I think, at the beginning of the game, the screen. And there's probably an auto load going on and it must have just basically rolled back. It's kind of like Goblin Stone probably where they probably have like hidden auto save files. Um, I lost progress from that bug or the crash. 
Well, it didn't really crash. I actually hit exit, so I don't know why it didn't auto restore for my save, because I actually manually saved right before exiting. This is not it. Not it. Not there. Alright, maybe it's over here, or maybe it's over here. Where the other alternative is. I go this way and just go straight down through this black zone. Unless there's something I'm supposed to research to detect it, right? Because why else would it ask me to research some shit? Let's take a look here. What does this do? Mana bullet! Mana turret. What the hell does mana turret do? Effect? Automated defense device filled with bullets. Then watch it fill other things with bullets. Watch it fill other things with bullets. Okay. What's this? Structural restoration? Repair tools. Adaptable tools, nearby structures. Okay. Conduit tapping. Nothing there. Porter. What the hell is Porter? Quartz? I don't know what the hell that is either. Yeah, we've already done all of this, right? This is scaffold laddering. Basic transportation, splitter, bypass, tubes. Fortification. I hear something to the left. You hear it? Maybe it's to the left of us. Maybe, maybe we're getting close, because I hear something. Yeah, I hear something. I don't know if it is to the left or, or to the right. Oh, wait. Oh, something here. Nope. I don't think it's there, right? Because that is the no man's land. Yep, that's no man's land. I go through that, I die, right? Yeah, I don't think that is the way to go. For some reason, that didn't update. On my map. Yeah, it's still not updating on my map. I don't hear the... Oh, I, I do now, all right? Weird, weird sound. Yeah, you can't be that way. It can't be that way. 
That's basically, I go there and I die. Where is this conduit shit? Wait, now, where am I? Why is it not? Hmm. Yeah, it's not updating for some reason. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. There's a white box. Right here, see that? That's, I don't know what that white box is. Probably this, right? Or no? Nope. Can't be that one. I'm trying to understand where that. Why it's not? I think this is the white box. Because the white box is basically stones. Jesus Christ, where is this manifold? Or conduit shit? You know, I can't find this conduit. It's so annoying, right? Hmm. And that did not update. There's this chunk right here. Yeah, this chunk right here should exist. On the... I mean, this line right here is basically this line here, right? For some reason, the thing is not updating. Still not updating, right? No, I, I, I guess it is. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. I, I don't think it is. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna go straight out this way and see if this works. Alright, that is now updated. Yeah, that's now updated. So I have no idea where this manifold is. I'm missing an obvious thingy here somewhere. I wonder if people are posting about this on the forum where this manda conduit is. I should probably Google this. Use this. Not obvious where this dumb manifold is. Or sorry, the conduit. Unless it's like right there underneath it. right below my base. I doubt it. Where is the mana 
con or the mana conduit. Am I missing something? This is a chest, right? Find a mana conduit. A mana conduit. All right, hang on. So we found mana crystals. Maybe, maybe mana conduit is near the crystals that we found. Oh, I think it's probably where the crystals were. Right? No, it's where's the where's the mana crystals? Okay, I'm guessing Mana Conduit is probably where the crystals were, right? That makes the most sense. Right, this is Mana... Mana Deposit. So maybe the Mana Conduit is somewhere around here? That's my only guess, right? Mana crystals, mana conduit, mana deposits. I mean, this is the mana deposit, right? Nope, not around here. Something's something's wrong. That's mana crystals, right? Mana deposits. see anything around here. Yeah, I have no idea where this mana conduit thing is. Holy shit. Where is this? That's a deposit, right? Let me see if I can Google this nonsense. Um... Auto Forge Mana Conduit. Uh, can't find fourth Mana Conduit. Mana Conduit, something, something. What does a Mana Conduit look like? Uh, Alright, I don't know what a Mana Conduit looks like. Okay, mana conduit looks like some. Hmm. Some crystal thingy. It looks like a, a crystal platform, right? Uh, let's see here. So I found the one by found blah blah blah. East of that is the fourth one, something something. Trouble, I ended up with a grand tree using a mana conduit, the room right past the tavern. No, I don't. Hmm. That's not related to... That's in Sudden Haven. That's not it. Auto Forge Mana Conduit. Yep, I... Uh, somebody had a... There was a video, but... It's hard to tell. Let me go to the Steam form here. Mana Conduit. Mana Conduit. Uh, finding a Mana Conduit along its ground region. Can't find Mana Conduit. My surface does not contain a Mana Conduit. I, 
The metal recipe seems to take me raw, blah, blah, blah. I'm unable to expand to the left or right of the starting area as I need metal. My surface does not contain a mana conduit. All right, it must be on the surface then. Somebody says they don't have it on their surface. So maybe it's on the surface. Seeing here. Well, the guy says it's not on his surface, but it, maybe it's supposed to be on the surface. If that's what he says. What's this? Not it either. Man, we've already gone up and down the surface. No idea what this is. Oh, this is a stones, right? It's a structure. It looks like a structure. I don't see a structure here. I'm pretty sure it's not through that, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be a structure like. Hmm. With a platform around it, right? I don't know. I need to use the bathroom though. So BRB real quick. So I'm back and let's close this here. Let me see here. Map regions. It's possible that we can try to get to the left or the right side, I think, right? Because wasn't there like an unlock? I think there's like an unlock, right? If I can't get what well, I was reading about this mana conduit while in the bathroom on the phone and I was looking at somebody mentioning that's on the surface and then one of the developer commented that it's in the demo either on the right side or the left side of this map unlock. And void matter. So I have to unlock one of these things. How the hell do I get more void matter though? There aren't any void matters here, is there? Well, there are void matters here. Oh, look at that. Okay. Well, that changes things a little bit, right? That means I could unlock the map. But the demo is more than Could only unlock one or side or the other. How do I how do you get more void matters? How do you get more void matters? Be this into uh, the apotheus to see more of the world. Okay. Well, it could be in the left, could be on the right. How do I get more void matters? That's the other question. It was in these ancient chests, right? Um, hang on, is there, is the technology allows me to craft void matters? I don't, I don't know if void matters is on this list. No, right? Hang on, are there any other chests to open? Maybe there are they're in these little potteries. I've never actually opened them or smashed them, right? So they could be inside these things. Let me find out. Dig. 
ancient brick. Oh, what's this? Oh. Okay, so these potteries could have stuff in them. I want I don't know if those torches contain void matters or not. I destroy these torches. Oh, it looks like poop. Unless poop is biomatter. It's poop. <laughs> No, torches are torches. Yep, torches are torches. It's not void matter. You can plant this to grow burling plants? Refines... Oh, okay. Alright, so that means... I need a stack of this. And then I need to make what? Hang on. I need a hundred iron gear. Iron gear requires what? Two iron ingots. Ugh. Okay. So that means I need two stacks of these. I don't need poop in my inventory. All right, so let's go back up, and we're gonna go. Use this thing here. Make these thingies. Okay. And I guess I gotta crank up the generator. How long is it gonna take me to make this? I need a hundred, right? Might take a while. Okay, so... Mana conduit. How do I get more health? It doesn't actually say how to get more health. Do I consume anything? I don't know if I consume something. I'm pretty sure this is my health bar. How do I make more of this? Blanks? According to this, I can make a ton of this, right? Oh, it's probably auto converts my my wood into it. Yeah, all right, this is kind of cool, right? Makes it easier to traverse than having to do the platform jumping all the time. Okay, it auto, auto removes everything for me. Oh, that's all I got. Hang on, why is it all empty? Why, why does it keep... dishing out everything? Resin? Let me take this resin off. There you go. Five. this I do. So we're just basically trying to get more Hmm. Can I get more of this? Might just be easier to go.
Yeah, it might be easier to just do like that, right? Key clear, there we go. Okay, I could probably just convert these platforms. Yeah, okay. That still works. Oh, the, um, I know what it is. There you go. Like, why is it not working? All right, so these scaffolds. Um, helps me create walkway platforms, right? Cannot dig. Um, there you go. Oh, the shed. Okay. So we could go up the ladder like this. It's kind of cool, right? There we go. That works for me. Like that. The general idea is it makes platforms. Alright, that works. How many, uh... It's gonna take a while to get the parts I need, right? The gears. And this requires, what, two ingots? Mm -hmm. Doesn't take a very long time to unlock the next zone. But yeah, it's supposed to be on the surface. Of either the left side or the right side. We only have enough. Um, we only have enough to go one side or the other side. Unless I'm missing something. Unless there's some other way to get these. Uh, these void crystals. Or void matters. And I don't know why this guy bugs out. I forgot to look look about look up the uh, information about that guy. Well, at least on the bright side, I don't have to like dig up random shit anymore. Or random exploration because Turns out it's not anywhere here, because we've actually explored everything. Almost. I should probably crank up to get more wood, right? Because wood is... Planks and planks are the ladders. Oh, it's kind of cool. It automatically removes the uh, the entire thing once you op once you remove one one white. Yeah. 
So we got this whole row here. Yeah, it's a whole row right there. We got ancient bricks down here, right? Lots of vines. I don't know how to get rid of all these vines. I don't think you're supposed to have... Why the platform is different. Why is that different from the other one? Oh, there's two scaffolds. There's two scaffolds here. Four. Oh, maybe one is for the background. Oh, it needs a background, I think. I think it needs a background. That's probably why the... It probably made a background, and then... I think that's what it did. It made a background. And then... Yeah, I think that's what it did. It made a background. I can't... Well, I guess I can jump that high, huh? The height difference between this and this is not... This is taller, right? Yeah, this there's supposed to be like a platform here. Yep, there's supposed to be a platform there. Okay. Uh, four, right? Four. Is it too high? I don't know. I can't remember. I think it's like that, right? I don't know. Oh well, whatever. It's fine. Let's take a look at this. It needs another set of this. Now this should have 50, right? 40? Oh, how's it missing? How's it missing 10? I feel like somewhere along the lines, this thing is bugged. Yeah, I really think that's bugged, right? It's missing units for some reason. I need another chest. I don't know why that's locked. I wish I wouldn't do these locks. Alright, that's a seed, right? I don't know what that to do with that seed. Ancient breaths. Yeah, see, it's locked. I don't know why it just locks these things there. Oh, hang on, it's missing fuel, right? It's 
Scott feel there. It's fine. Escape. Eeky. Close. And then just throw some of these in there, I guess. Who knows? We might need more of these. Iron gears. It might actually be faster if I hmm, take some of this off. And also con contribute to making making some of them myself. Yep, that might actually speed things up a little bit. So that needs to get what? 815? Almost there. Then we have enough. Nope, not quite. Oh, we should have enough by the time we get to the bottom. Because my thing is making it as well. Alright, so we're going to go towards the side that requests... Oh, look at that. Okay, well... Let's go! Now let's see if we find a mana conduit. Finally. So, to find the mana conduit, you have to unlock the next region, or one of the regions, I'm guessing. It, um, hopefully it's, it's on the left, and it's not one or the other. If it's one or the other, then yeah, we're slightly screwed then. Like it's supposed to be on one of each side or something. Maybe this is it, right? Man, a conduit, nice, okay. Interact. Okay, requires conduit tapping technology to infuse, oh, 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 shit. B key, right. U key. B key. Alright, so the, the game is more than just the middle map then. Thank, uh, thank goodness it's got more content here for the, the demo. Yeah, so the mana conduit is along the surface of one of the map sides. I just don't know if both maps. Had we got unlucky and went the other direction? I don't know if it's also on the other side as well. So it may just be on both sides. Alright, so the mana conduit. What does this say? Connect power relay to mana conduit, right? We have a power relay. Okay. Seek out and find the ancient device. Build the ancient device with mana fibers. Build ancient device with metal plating. Fill the ancient device with repair tools. Holy shit, that's a lot. Repair the ancient device. Okay. Well, hope the ancient device is somewhere on the same page or the same map zone, right? So I'm guessing this mana conduit is basically, it provides power. It requires conduit tapping technology to infuse with more mana. I don't know what that means. There was mana conduit tapping, right? Enables infusing mana into a mana conduit to increase its power input. Increases power input. 
What's this power relay do? What does a power relay do? Is it related to the... I wonder if it's related to the... to the crank I have going. Huh. I wonder if it's connected. I don't know. That's interesting. Hang on, let's see what the description of the power relay says. Distributes power to nearby machines. Nearby machines, though. Well, let's figure out the next part of the que question, or the quest. I gotta go V key. It would be nice if I have a, b a better dig. All right, well, let's see here. I'm guessing it's right here, right? Because what is that? Well, one way to find out. Try to, oh, oh. There's another spawner down there, huh? Yeah, it's scary. I probably should do it right here. I'm thinking that top left corner is my health bar. It makes sense to be a health bar, right? Because it matches the uh, color scheme and the graphics of the other thing. Oh, void matter is. It's from getting the. Um, killing those guys. I have enough void matter to open the second map. Now we know how to get the void matter, right? Alright, so void matter is from destroying the other thingy. I, th I don't know if it's from destroying the spawn or destroying the oil or the, the actual guy itself. If it's from actual guy itself, then we need to probably let, let it spawn and keep farming them. So that's another way to get the crystals because it says 99 that's like a thousand crystals i don't know if i, I want to grind that much i don't even know if that's possible i know in the uh synergy game i had some un, un, uh, some crazy thousand plus resource unit that i can't obtain and that's how they gate the demos But yeah, it looks like you can go left or right now, right? So had I got screwed looking for the mana conduit, I could probably still get, go to the other direction. What's that? 
I think that's a technology thing. Entangled technology. Alright, let's see here. Alright, well, hmm. They haven't bugged me yet. don't know. We don't know if it's the mob that spawned it or the actual spawner that gives you the void matter. Or I don't know yet. Maybe you guys know since you've you've been watching this. And I wasn't paying attention. So I'm gonna see if I can just attack them and not the spawner. And then maybe we'll be able to get the void ma and matter. Or we'll figure out whether the void matter is something that, that can be spawn or farmed. Or if it's just from only the um the spawners by like destroying the the hive. I should probably go back and start getting the, the crank going too. Alright, the um the thingy that, that creates the uh, next map. I'm pretty sure it's just cranks. We're searching for the ancient device anyways. I don't know if the ancient device is in this direction or not. It may be in the second map, who knows? Like, maybe they programmed it. So you have to find it on the second map. I mean, that's a possibility too, right? Probably faster to do the non-stones. I think the void, the void matter is from the, uh, yeah, those give me oil clot. So it looks like void matter only comes from the, from the other thingy. Looks like I can do it from underneath this. So the trick might be just to have a platform, trap them, and you just attack swing it from there. Like from underneath. Yeah, so you gotta attack it from the bottom. 
three. The and then just attack it from the bottom. I'm pretty sure my void crystal's the same, right? It's still fine. Or void matter. Oh wait, how did he just get through that? He teleported through the... Oh, he did jump through that, huh? That room is not sealed enough. Sure. That you can't farm void matter without killing that. I think the void matter only comes from the uh, the spawners. Cool, I gotta open this up. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, let me put the stones over here. Do I need the torches? I don't need the torches, right? Ancient torch. I don't need ancient torch. This is the tech device, right? What does this do? It's probably delete. Yeah, see? You can probably attack it from the top. Nice, okay. So that is a trick for farming the oil, it seems. I don't know what to do with these stone piles. That I should probably find E key, right? E oh, Q B. Right, one key. All right, so ancient device, right? My guess is it's on the map that's that we did not unlock. That they probably procedurally generated to be the first map being the mana conduit, and the second one is my guess logical progression. Uh, 
eight and one. Create a wall. There you go. Well, that way they're walled in. They won't bother us. I'm making it so I can actually reach whatever this is if I need to. It's the bottom. We're probably gonna die if we go all the way down there. Probably not a good idea. All right, so that is the bottom of the tent. Yep, all right. I'm gonna seal that off. I don't wanna go towards that. Oh, hey, there's a ladder there. Well, on the bright side, I don't have to. go down there to get the stuff, right? Whatever we harvest, auto goes into the inventory. Oh, look at all that. It's already made. Let's see now, that's interesting. What is this? Is the ancient device nearby? Looks like the ancient device is nearby. Sparklings. What are the sparklings? Oh, it's silver. Oh, sparklings are the silvers. Why the silver is still I guess it's supposed to always sparkle. That's silver, right? And that's mana. Well, that's not It's not ancient device. But the rooms do connect. Or the map do connect. torches. Uh, uh, tab key, C key. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Guess I do need more plankies. Alright, that's fine. One key. Q to clear. Alright, so there. Is there a fast travel? I really wish there was a fast travel. Ancient device is what we're looking for. 
Unless the ancient device is in our base the whole entire time. I don't think that's the ancient device. Hang on, what, what's happening here? Oil. Ah shit, I think we have too many lanterns. Um, Alright, let me put this over here for now. Biomatter. Um, and I need to bring a couple of these, right? Right, that's fine. And then... Alright, let's go up. Because I think I need to make a cranky thingy. Hang on, hang on. I want to see if the relay is related to the conduit. I think the conduit is just... Just power source, right? I think the conduit is just a power source. Yeah, it's just a power source. I wonder if you could take the conduit. Hmm. Or if it has to be there. And I right click the conduit off and take it with me. No, right? That I can take. That I can't take. Yeah, I think this has to stay there. Hmm, okay. Can I replace that? Shit, my thing is full. What can I do with this inventory? They can't take the 10 off for some reason. How much is the oil thingy? Torch thingy. Three oil. Perfect, actually. Perfect. It's exactly the same amounts. Okay, hang on. Can I... Make a bunch of these. Just to reduce that out. I can. Interesting. Alright, that's fine. So that solves my problem there. Okay, how's this gonna take? Planks? 86. Sure, let's just do this. Because that goes... My guy is actually automatically making it. So that consumes whatever is in my inventory out. That should help remove some of my ingots. Alright, okay, so that's fine. The only thing we need to do is find this this ancient technology. I'm guessing it's over here. Hmm. It might actually be there. Yeah. Hmm. Logical indication there. It might be it. If that's the case, that will help me out a lot. Oh hey, my digging is now 
How's my digging now, too? You see that? It's actually two now. How do I get two? Oh, how do I get the two size? The size of two. It's finally... It's finally size two for some reason. I think that upgrade finally worked. Remember how I upgraded for the with the two? E? Hmm, right click? Yeah, how do I get the two? How do I get that size to be so big now? W? B? B? Right click? Interesting, huh? Huh. What caused that to increase in size? Is there a key binding? I don't know if there's a key binding. Hover in the air, roll, interact, roll. What's pipolate? Drop, grab, change mode, build radius, B. Oh, it's the B key. Oh, it's the B key. Now we know what it is. Thanks. Okay, alright, so the B key that basically changes the size. That helps a lot. far from that. I don't want to run... I don't want to get into a tangle with those guys. But yes! Good god, thank you for the the greater width. thing is so much better. No, I should be already there by now. According to... Not updating appropriately. Unless that white block is where I'm at. I'm guessing that white block is where I'm at. No, it can't be. What is this? That must be some... No. Can't be what that... No. I have no idea what that is. I'm guessing that white block is stones. 
Yeah, I'm guessing that white block with stones. Alright, so that is not the ancient device. Yeah, that's not the ancient device. We should be right there by... I don't know why the map is not updating. See, now it's updating. Alright, so... The green is probably... The spawns, right? Greens are the spawns. And the white, probably just stones. Yeah, the whites are just stones. Ugh, terrible. Misleading. So, no ancient device yet. Okay, no ancient device. My, excuse me, my, my drink almost fell over. Um, so my guess is it's probably on the next map. The way this is designed. It leads you from one zone to the next zone. That's my guess. Unless it's magically somewhere in between here. I'm not gonna attack those guys. I'm pretty sure we only get oil. I mean, we could try to cut through this middle block. But I have a feeling it's on the next map. I have a strange feeling it's on the next map. Having this three two by two cutter is actually a lot, a lot better. Shit. Cause I place that stupid thing there and I don't feel like taking it off. It won't let me cut the stone if it's sitting on on the stone. I'm starting to hear the music now. Yeah, I wonder what the full release is going to be like. People are going to really dig this or not. Not bad. I, I'm, I'm enjoying it because I, I like these type of games where you're just digging. Um, kind of like Core Keeper for the most part.
Yep, doesn't look like there's anything here. Yeah, I, I think it's probably in the next map over. Well, let's just cut across this. Thank God for a 2x2. Two 2x2 two. Two two cutter. That's the ancient device is like literally next to this conduit. I don't think it is. Seek out and find the ancient device. All right, let's go towards the. Um, hang on, how much do I have? Be like fifty-seven of these, right? I need to go get some iron. This is the mainframe, right? What is this? Increase blast or increase the maximum harvest and building area. Increase crafting rate. Increase sword power. Increase maximum health. Increase carrying capacity. Hmm. Carrying capacity might be useful too, but let's go with the sword. And let's go with the sword. We might need the power. Poop. <laughs> Alright, so we got some stones here. Let me put the stones away. Take this. Uh, maybe some of this. Let's see here. Let me put this mana. I don't I haven't been using that for a while. Let me put this away. Maybe. Don't know what that's for. Sand. Sure. Where's this? Bricks? I think we have bricks and stored in this one, right? Hmm, maybe not. I don't know. Don't know what the bricks for. Let me put the silver ore here. Put this in here and in this place. And then let me take some of these. Okay, oh, not. Need planks, right? That's wood. I need more wood. Okay. Sure. We need to go get wood. And I think if we can figure out how to get the mana conduit to come around here, that'd be great. It's the crank, right? Can I just die here? No. I want to restore my health. I don't know how to restore my health. See, these are all 999s, which I think is impossible, but I think the, the thing is on the next map. How many more 
Where do I need? Almost there, right? Five. Six. Four. Five, six, right? Four more. One, two, three, four. And these are planks, right? Okay, and then the oars. I want to carry oars. Great. All right, I think that's it, right? I think that is now all we can do in the demo. We'll find out. Oh, hey, look at that. It did uncover something along the edges. All ready for us. Oh, that's because we already started that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's because of us. Oh, look at that. We can make bricks. B key, there we go. Okay. B key. Alright, so that is not the ancient device. It's just an area that we've already uncovered. Except for we have access to it because we unlocked it. And the sparkles is basically just deposits. Hopefully I'm not going to fall into a pit over here. Whoa, shit. Oh, shit. I am falling into a pit. Oh, shit. Oh, just as I said, I hope I'm not falling into a pit. Damn it. Lost all my shit. They really should do something about that. Not let you fall. Oh, well, at least it's over here. At least the crystals is at the top and not at the bottom of the pit. Gary. I should probably do this. Go ahead. Like Instead of like being so close to the, the thing. Three. One. One. Three. One. 
one. One. Okay. Okay, that connects it, so seals it off, prevents them from... Right, so at least I know where I'm at. For some reason, the other side's not updating in between. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, the map is not updating. But they all died in the pit. Or unless they fell into the next zone. Where are we? Yeah, it's not updating. Well, at least we know. B key, right? Can't go that way. Well, we know that is the unless the ancient device is over there. I don't think the ancient device is over there, but there's something there though. I see something though. It looks like it's it's um some automation contraption. Or set up. Somebody's automation set up. The reason I'm starting from the bottom is I doubt it's going to be on the surface. But I, I might be wrong. I doubt there's like a thousand of these spawners for us to get to the next map. Where are we going here? Come on. Nope, I'm not in there. Oh, oh, something here. see maybe it's in here don't know oh that doesn't look like it ancient tech like that Kind of cool, nonetheless. We got something. Not an ancient device. The surface is up there. I mean, this device can't be that far off. Because I think... I think the... Yeah, the discovery is... We pretty much discovered whatever, right? Because that's like right smack in the middle. And the surface looks like it's not that far off. Gotta be somewhere in between here and there, right? I see something sparkling over there. Well... Hmm, 
Maybe it's a good idea to seal it off. <laughs> Beaky. Uh, Beaky. 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 Right. Maybe it's on that side. I don't know. Or like right above this thing. Or to the side of it. Hang on. Could be to the side of it. I don't know. I see something moving over there. Whoa. Okay. Well. Can't be to the side of that. Now we've established that. Oh shit. Well they can attack through the walls? Oh, they can attack the walls. Oh, dear lord. I didn't realize I could fight through the walls. Okay, sealing off that is not... Now we know sealing it is not going to be enough. Just get rid of the spawner. Alright, so it's not over there. Where will this ancient device be? Yeah, I can see this is, if you're into Terrera and uh, Soulbound, this game is definitely for you. And I like, I like digging games. And exploration. If there's interesting stuff to explore, right? just happened. Weird. That was weird. I highly doubt it could be over there. Nothing on the surface. I see a spark over there, but I think that's just resources. Sources are just sparkles. Yeah, that's what I thought. Or oh shit, these guys are mining. I'm just gonna move away from these guys. Maybe they'll do the mining for us.
Okay, I see some. Pl oh, oh, that might be the ancient device. This ancient device. Okay, cool. What does this do? Fill the ancient device with mana fibers, metal platings, repair tools, right? Repair the device. Okay, all right. So now we do know it is in the next zone, just as I thought. And that might be the end of the demo. Wonder what else is in the full game. <laughs> Gotta be more interesting stuff, right, in the full game. I mean, fixing the device is pretty straightforward. But this game does have potential, right? Right, so. I'm thinking here. We just have to figure out how to fix that. The rest of the technology, I don't know what the, the other technology does. There's a turret, so I'm imagining the turret is used to defend this thing. Like a They Are Billion style. Yeah, I like I like the um, the artwork or the uh, the asset right the graphic asset for this platform. One of the things that I like about uh, playing Starbound is finding these things, finding random interesting stuff to bring back to my base and build. Q key, right? Q key. And then six key. Close that. Close that. Yeah, all right. Zero Q. Wait, why can I? Hopefully that heals, right? I think that's a heal. I don't know if it heals itself or not. That might not be a heal. It doesn't heal itself. Makes a nice little box here. So we have to do this little ancient device repair. We're gonna set up shop in here, I guess. And I don't know what's required for each of those components. Is there any 
anything resource wise nearby. I wonder if there's a door or something that we can use. Six. Let's go ahead and seal it off. Oops. Shit. Thank you. glad it only sucks it in. Uh, B. Oh, that one dropped, right? Drop down there. those heal I mean it, it's kind of weird right and it shows it's damaged I don't know if it heals all right so three key you got collect all this down here I don't know if it heals. Three key. Notch it in. Yeah. Notch it in. Okay. Alright, it's kind of cool, right? Alright, so that is our room there. So, to get this, what do we need to do? What is it? Mana fiber? That's a lot of mana. 500 of those. Holy shit. And silver ingots. What else? What is this? Metal plating? That's repair tools. How do you get the metal plating? Oh, shit. Metal plating. Okay, so we have to research that. Oh, we need essence. What was the other one? Repair tools. This one I saw repair tools here earlier. Alright, so that one I need to research. Essence. Okay, so I need essence, essence, essence. Lots of essence. I need lots of repair tools. What should repair tools use? Iron and planks. All right. And this is three metal blocks. Where do I get metal blocks? Where do I get metal blocks? How do I get metal blocks? I don't know how to get metal blocks. Quartz, maybe? I don't know if quartz... I, mean, I, I, I imagine this is going to be needed for something, right? 
Imagine this is needed for something too. Hang on, so metal blocks in any of this? I don't know where metal repair tools, hang on. Research again? Metal plating requires metal, metal. Right, requires metal. Hmm, I don't know where the metal comes from. Refinement process is, oh, okay. Generic uh, refined ore. Fine, generic refined stones. I'm guessing it just takes any ores, right? Okay, all right, well, we definitely know what the goal is now. Mechanical essence comes from the assembler. Distiller requires cranks and, and iron. It's a good thing I made some of those. Now it requires what? Cranks and uh, the other thingy, right? I need I need to get wood basically. Okay. So we know what the objective is now. How to get this to work? I don't know if silver is part of the equation or not. But that's not far off. It's not far off. Three. Three. B. Three. B key. Oh, shit. Uh, three. Okay, I, I guess I can lower this a little bit, right? Or just leave it. Well, we just basically need to Let me get this crank going then. It's gonna be a lot of work cranking this through. So I get the idea of automating now. To try to come up with 500 manually is quite a challenge. Well, the first goal is I need to get essence. I need to get this, and I need to get wood. Um, we need to get wood. So I need to set up like a wood factory to funnel all the 500 down there. All right, so the goal is, I can probably do, I can probably set it from here, because I don't need the one down here. And then, yeah, this whole area, I can set up like a, a production scheme, right? All right, let's do, let 
I'm just going to do all the platforms down here. Like this. I'm going to set up a production platform for my platform for all this. B key. Yeah, I'm starting to understand where the automation stuff comes in. Oh, this is big challenge before I was like okay it's cool it's got automation but why would I need it there's no goal to it now that guy I don't know what to do about him I think he's bugged I think he's totally bugged or Lines up exactly, almost exactly to where I need to be. I have three B key. Yeah, it does almost line up exactly. Maybe his he has a purpose in um, in delivering stuff for us. I don't know. But yeah, his platform is almost on the same level as the other. Almost. Not quite. Or it's the bricks is probably full. Yeah, the bricks. Oh, it's yeah. The bricks is probably full. Yep. Okay. We need wood, though. Hmm. Let me see here. Can I make another box? It requires planks. Oh God. Okay. Hang on. I need to go unload some of my crap to the bottom of my base. Well, technically, there's a chest up there. Let me unload some of this in there. Okay. This is wood, right? This is wood. Where's my wood? So I need to create something to automate that wood too. Go ahead and remove this. One key. What happened to my torches? All my torches are gone. Oh, it's probably in the chest. One chest, right? Yeah, where's the 
Where's my chest? Oh, it's built. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we're gonna put the chest here. I'm gonna transfer my current craft into the chest. Take this out, I guess. Okay, let me take all this out. Okay, so that is going to mine wood. Um. I'm thinking here. I need to get an automated one, right? Can we get an automated crank? Where's this one? Combustion drill, right? Uh, field mining equipment for excavation of ore. Affixes to back wall. I don't know if that's the same thing as wood. No, it does work with ore, right? Okay, so let's see here. Three ingots. Let's go back. Hang on. Let's go back down first and disassemble everything that's down here. We're going to leave that there for now. Cannot take that apart, right? Okay, let's see here. I probably want another chest here, just in case. Planks. Okay, maybe two. I don't know. We'll see. It's gonna take a while, right? Alright, so that's my chest. Alright, I'm gonna stick that there. Now does the relay need to be on the wall on the wall or I guess the relay could be on the wall. Underneath? Oh, maybe underneath. Okay. Let's put it underneath, right? Like this. And then the distiller can go right here. Oops. Shit. B key. E key. U. Clear. Not interact. How do I remove it? Okay. Um, torch, right? Torch. Maybe torch underneath that, like this? Yeah. Alright, so. Uh, crank, right? I'm thinking here. Can I stick the crank up here somewhere? The idea is an area for the crank. So, so it's within the power relay. I don't know if the crank is going to be... Where's the crank? Oh, it has to be close by. Okay. I guess the crank could be down here, right? This is power relays. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I can do that. E for crank. 
Well, the mana conduit gives us a constant power flow. Distiller creates that, right? I wonder if I can funnel it into the distiller. I actually don't know. I'm thinking here, is there a way to funnel it? I don't know if it, I don't know if it goes into the distiller. It has to, right? I'm guessing it does. Why would the box be like that, right? Okay. This dumps the essence. Let me rotate this. That dumps the essence out. Alright, so two. I don't even know if it requires the distillery. Foundry. Hang on. Why can't I get off of this? Well, first of all, let me test it. Let's see if I can do this without. Okay, so the distillery input requires essence. And that requires crank. Hang on. Don't I have cranks? I thought I have cranks. I do have cranks. Here we go. Let's test this out. See if this actually outputs it. If it doesn't output it, then I need to get the tube. It does output it, right? Yes, it does output it. So it goes directly into it. Okay. Hmm. All right. So what we need to do is research this thingy and now what we need to do is how do I I'd like to know what the range is Ponder over whether I can. Okay, so I think that is fine where it's at. I don't know if I need the box there. It's similar. So the assembler outputs stuff, right? I'm pretty sure I don't need the um, the assembler on the same the box on the same floor. Yeah, I don't think I need the box on the same floor. Hang on. Q E. Hang on. Or I'm gonna say the box is here. Yeah, we can do this, right? Yeah, we can reach all that. Okay, so the combustion drill is used to obtain it from here. Okay, so combustion drill. Where's my combustion drill? Yeah. Wow. 
wow, they actually have a large range. All right, so the combustion drill, we're going to put that there. We're going to output it that direction. And that uses biofuel. Just stick that in there. And then this here. Gets ores. And then ores go into the furnace. Wait. Yeah, we need a furnace, right? Okay, so we need a furnace. And then the furnace outputs it. Where can this furnace output? Hang on, let me take this out. Take it apart. We're going to put a platform here. So that I don't have to do anything else with it, right? Yeah, we can put the platform there. Because then it just goes straight into this, right? Like that. All right, so the furnace, or actually, no, you know what? Screw that. Do it again. Oh, oh. Ah, shit. Three. Oh. Whatever. Oh, shit. Fine. We'll leave it like this. Here. So we're going to put it down more right here. Like that. That way it's just on the same floor as the combustion. Okay. And then this goes... This is metal, right? Come on. Damn it. Okay. It's going to go into this. And I need to fuel, fuel this up as well. How do I split it? There we go. Split in half. So we need to figure out how to fuel this too, but... And then that eventually needs to go into the assembler. Yeah, we need an assembler like over here. The assembler then creates Hang on, I should probably put the assembler here. Reduce this. Reduce this. Distiller over here, right? Okay. Let me change this out. Okay, so right there should get everything right. And the crank should be fine right here. 
Okay. And the assembler can only do one recipe at a time. So I need to create a second node. Right. Uh, I think there's a splitter, right? There's something about splitting. There's something about splitter, right? Transport node for splitting and filtering items in a different transport path. Okay, hang on. Let's see if I can move this into two things, right? Wait, it goes up. Can I rotate this? Okay, I can rotate this. It goes in here. I need to get another one that splits it. But hang on. How do I create a splitter? Mana crystals and transport tubes. Mana crystals and transport tubes. Hang on, let me take all this out. Okay, the foundry. Do need to put that somewhere. Okay. And then this is recipe there. And then we need to get the crank. We take this off. Okay, so the crank. Let me put this in here. Right. Uh, okay, so you are making cranks. And that's wood, right? Alright, that should go in there, that should go in there. Research. Okay, let me uh, go to the bottom and get all my crap from the bottom out. Okay, that one I should hold on to as well. Okay, so this here needs essence, right? That should help me. So we're setting up a thing to start the research, and then the next step is basically creating all sorts of stuff to, to do the thing. Hang on, let me... Um, no, it's not that one, right? It's, I want to be able to craft faster, right? Increase crafting speed. This one. Increase projectile power. Increase inventory space. Crafting speed is the best, right? Yeah, okay. We can get more technology. That'd be great. But I doubt it. This is all my soil, don't care about that. I'll take the mana crystals out. Born for entry, necessary for some more complex intermediate items. Okay, that's fine. Ancient tours, yeah, that's fine. Saplings, I don't, I don't know about that. Oops. One. Three. There, my bad. Oh, I need to, oh, shit. The poop, right? That's fine, whatever. B key. Shit, that's fine. Let me put the poop in here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the poop anyways. Uh, I don't know what to do with these things anyways. Okay, that's fine. Let's take all that. Okay. Oh, 
right, right, right. The ladder is not a platform, that's why. I have to like hit the up up key. Okay. And then here I have to crank this up all the time. I have to figure out how to automate that. So, hang on. How do I get the splits? Splitter, right? I need one of these. Fine. Oh, uh, this is bricks. Alright, I think I need a sec- I don't know if I need a second forge. Probably don't. I just need a splitter, I'm guessing. Splitter? I'm guessing the splitter goes in here, right? Wait. Lincoln, I think this is right. Okay, it does go two diff different directions. Okay, so I go in there, splitter, then I need a second. A second one of these. doesn't go that high, huh? Lincoln, I think I have to put it nearby. I have to split it down this way. Put it down here. A second one of these. Um, Cause I need a second assembler. to bundle it into the thingy. Right, because I need to create cranks. Or sorry, yeah, the, cr the, the crank device. The crank arm, basically. Um, Alright, so let's see here. Can I put four? Or I just basically, hang on, I need to make another assembler. Alright, so me creating the planks is pretty fast. I think. No, it's not. I think I have more soil. Let me take the soil out, build the back wall, because I think the back wall does need. Because I think something with a platform, I, I consume extra platform when I don't have a back wall. Yeah, for some reason I can't put the back wall while that thing is running. I can't hold shift or hold the right click down either. I have to manually click on this. Yeah, see the ladder doesn't even... 
whatever. All right, so that's fine. Um, hang on. So this goes here. And then the crank. Okay. And then this. Uh, close this over here. Uh, close this over here. Funnel the... Oops. Funnel that up, right? I'm pretty sure that goes that way. And then... Hang on, this is the distillery, right? Okay, so I need to get planks in there, right? I need to make, I need to put wood into this. Feed wood into that. It's kind of factorial-ish, yeah. But a little bit more often not included, too. Since this is a sideways. Alright, I'm, I'm thinking this will work. We can visually see it go in, right? No, oh, oh, it's not. There you go. It should be. Wait. Wait, this is it. Oh, it's the wrong direction. Two. It's the wrong direction. Q. Shit. The fr three. Okay, it should go up in there. Yeah, it is going up in there. All right, so I need to figure out how to flow this. Into my into the other thing. Right. Two, three, there. All right, so I need to get this one to go all the way down there into this thingy over here. Okay, that down there, right? That should flow, right? And then this needs... Wait. Right, why is that not flowing? 
Why is this not flowing? It's got power, right? Oh, oh, there's no... There's no research. Metal plating? Barred materials? Let's try this one. There you go. I think that should work now. Okay, I think that should work. Now, I don't know how to get the thingy in holding, like... Is there, like, a box that fits through that? Or I might need another one of these. To create the, um... To create the, uh... The parts, right? To create the parts. I'm thinking I could probably. Hmm. Shit, this is. <laughs> That's not flowing. The wood must flow. Bulwark. Let's see here, two. That goes in, right? So that goes in. That's my wood. This creates the crank. And I need to create, I need something that creates the gear. I need another assembler that creates the gear. Right, the gear goes in here, right? Yeah, I need another little similar. Oh boy, the relays. I could probably move the relay up so that way the assembler. on the floor above it can put the, um, the gear into the thing. Right. Let's see here. I need I need more of these platforms. Four? I could put the platforms over here, right? One, two, three. Yeah, I could do that. Can I make another assembler? I can. Okay, where's the assembler? Okay, so that's missing power. Oh wait, is it... Is it missing power because it can't reach? Yeah, I mean, it's missing power because it can't reach. The relay can't reach. the bio matter over here okay so boundary let's see that there there right
there. That should work, right? There you go. Alright, so now this guy over here... I need to get this going there. Take this. my last piece right there you go everything's flowing right everything's flowing perfect right I think this is fine right What's not flowing here? Okay, so we definitely need... There's a bottleneck on the foundry. It's not producing it fast enough. I think the split is not going to work. I think we need two, two of them. Yep, I think we need two of them. Oh, the essence is going the wrong way. Yeah, the essence is going the wrong way. And then the wood is not cranking. Alright, I need an automated wood system too. Definitely need an automated wood thingy. Yeah, we need to automate the wood. We're far from completing our goal. Very far from completing our goal. Alright, I need one of these. thinking right I need to replace the crank let's see here like that okay it needs to go I need a splitter right there right So is that cranking out the wood? I don't know. Why is it not outputting the wood? Oh, it is outputting the wood. All right, so the other one is, it's feeling itself, I believe. All right, so that one is basically fueling itself. The first crank, that once that's gone, that should automate itself. Now this down here, I need, I need to have a, I don't know, God. 
I mean, the only way I could do this more efficiently, or infinitely, is set up a a thingy for the power conduit to actually extend its range or something, right? Unless the relay... Can I use a relay to relay a relay? I don't know. Does relay work as a relay? Requires conduit tapping technology to infuse more mana. All right, so let's say hypothetically, if I created this a couple of times over, would the relay relay another relay? Like if they overlap, I don't know if that's a thing or not. Yeah, I don't know if it's a thing or not. And I don't know if sand is used for anything either. Why can't I pick up all that? Something was locking it. Alright, so three. Ah, shit. Three. All right, one. All right, so I'm thinking here, is it possible? to create a relay from here all the way down to there to get infinite power. I suppose manually cranking is not that big of a deal, right? I mean, what else am I gonna do? Oh, hey, it's finished already. Let's research that one, and that one. Oh, we can queue it, huh? Conduit tapping and enables using mana into a conduit to increases power output. I don't think power relay on that works, but I don't I don't know if it's worth the trouble. I can probably funnel this also around into these thingies too and that way we can we can get power over to the side right yeah we can probably funnel the power or the fuel over like this, zip, 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 down, down into this. All right, so we have a backup on that, so I guess it's fine. Seems fine. There, I don't think there's a bottleneck. I think the question is whether the biofuel is going to last. So far, it's fine, right? Not worried about it. These are stones, right? This is iron ingot. Okay. So 
there. That should solve some of that problem. That should mitigate some of that. And then wood, okay. There, that should mitigate some of that. Alright, so, my next goal. What is my next goal? Now that I have this research, I need to figure out how to make mana fiber. Which is this thing, right? This, I need another assembler. Silver ingots. 500 units, silver ingot. Yeah, 500 silver ingots. And I need to harvest mana crystals. That's gonna take a very long time. All right, let's test out the mana relay to see if I can actually. Relay. That, like piggyback it. Like if the relay is within overlap, According to that, it actually works, right? I'm thinking... Yeah, according to that, that works. Let's see if I can do... Yeah, according to that, the, the things are connected. Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, it's okay, so... That must work! Theoretically. Wonder if I can stretch that all the way over to where I'm at. If there's a range to it. If there's a strength to it as well. Because there's a number next to this. I don't know what this number means. Power, amount of power produced to the entire network this device is connected to. Power network. Power production. Amount of power produced by this device. What's this say? 250? 100%. Interesting. Find out. According to this, it's, it's got a pretty good range. Put it in the air? I don't think I can put it in the air. Oh, I can put it in the air, right? Oh. Okay, this looks like it's possible. Let's take a look at this. 250, it's 100%. Well, I, we might be able to relay all the power. 
mana crystals and iron ingots, right? Before, okay. Seven. Wow, the relay is pretty far, huh? Alright, I, I think this relay thing might work. We need crystals, right? We need mana crystals. Platform four, right? Four. So this thingy right here. Craft. Interesting. The relay does work. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh. Okay, we figured out something there. Okay, so the mana relay does work. 250 still, 800%. Okay, okay. So technically, I don't need this anymore. Okay, so the combustion drill is fine, right? Yeah, everything is working how we need it to do. So I think then, with the drills... I need to funnel all the combustions on one one pathing. All right, I need to provide a combustion to get this and then the silver to run. Right? And then I need to set up an, another assembly. And you set up another assembly somewhere. Maybe along the top here or something, right? To be able to get the, um, the thingy going. And this whole entire path here, basically, goes here, right? Oh, it's faster actually to walk on this. Yep, it is faster to have the, uh, to have this. Alright, so what I need to do is create a, a long path all the way to this back location. Like in here. Because if I get the relay to work all the way up to here, I could just create a whole assembly right here. Funnel everything into this. Right. I just need all the drills set up in such a way to funnel back that way, right? 
Yeah, I think I got this idea here. All right, be right back. I need to use the bathroom here. Let me save this real quick. All right, so I'm back. Let me uh, close that. So we just need to finish up all the research. All right. We have them queued, right? So I need that one. Actually, I don't know if I need that one or not. I think I just need this one. Um, what we do need, though, is to figure out how we're going to do the mana fibers, right? This one, right? Silver ingots and mana. So... I think what I need to do is set up a line for the wood to go this way to provide fuel to the mana. Let me go ahead and just remove. all this and then set up a platform system uh, one is for the torch remove that Q to remove that Hopefully we don't get crazy they are billion like spawns once the ancient device is powered up. Somehow I get the feeling we might want to or that we they're gonna throw us um the turret thingy, right? So I'm noticing the turret thing is not being used. Yeah. I don't know what that Cranko guy is either. But moving along this path is really slow. What I want to do also is basically replace the The ancient bricks, but I don't know if it's necessary. It's probably, well, it's not necessary. I'm just saying is, do I want to or not? Enjoy the game pretty much. Yeah, for some reason I can't fill it like how I want it to fill. It won't fill up the background on this. But we're gonna probably redo it. I don't know, yeah, I might just redo it. Let me take this off here. I don't need the manual cranking device anymore. Do I have enough to I think I might need more of these funnel funnel thingy. What is that? Iron and gears, right? Yeah, I'm gonna need more of these. Might need more splitters too. Okay, so the mana needs to flow. Uh, 
three B uh, Q. I don't know what to do with the stones. Yeah, I don't know what to do with the stones. I don't know, well. It'll probably come in handy later. I don't know yet. Jump B, remove that for now so I can get through there. Okay, all right. So, what's gonna happen is I need to create a thingy. That drains this, right? So, a drill that requires a forge, iron bars, and ingots. Forge, iron bars, and ingots. Bricks. I don't know what the brick is for. Strong construction materials. We must have made something from stones, right? Allows fast traversal. Okay. Oh, but it requires to be made in a forge. One. Okay, hang on. What was that? That needs to be in a forge as well? This one, right? How many forges do I have? One. So I need one for the silver. I need one. For the man mana. Okay. Three. Fill up the background here. One of these. Oops. So that basically gets everything right. I doubt I'll run out, but fine, we'll stick it there for now. And then Q B. Um, 
maybe a platform? Oh, I can walk over there? Hang on. One. Ah, shit. Three. Still. Kiki, Kiki. I basically need to reroute the thingy to split up. That's my thing. Two. Taking this all the way over there. Okay. You. That's two. needs to rotate okay so that's going down and that's the mana crystals going back this direction What am I doing with the mana crystals again? I need to assemble it, right? I need to assemble it into... into a... Um, whatchamacallit? The mana fibers. Right, with a silver ingot. I should probably flow the other direction. Yeah, I should probably flow it through the other direction. Uh, I should probably, yeah, I probably should have just done it on the top line. Because the middle line is basically the feel. Yeah. Shit, I think I should have done it. Oh god. Alright, so, hang on. Hang on, let me just redo this. I need to create a box just to empty all this out. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna empty all that out. Q. Two. Wood is going in that direction. I wish there was an easier way to flip all this. Because this other line
needs to be going towards the the silver ingot because it, it would be silly to to funnel the silver ingot to the center here and then all the way to the other side. I gotta empty that out into a box as well. I think the um, the mana crystals is stacking up inside the internal storage. So this here need to empty this box now, right? Okay. So three. here. There we go. Take all that out. Alright, so the mana crystal should eventually flow. to funnel that mana crystal into another forge later. Or assembler, right? Assembler. For now, it's, it's fine. However... Shit, let me, let me just stop that. That way we can just build it up. Alright, so we're going to have to funnel it all the way to this side here. And then funnel it down into this way, all the way over there. was in there but I got destroyed probably should have well maybe it, it went into my inventory
two, three, B. Shit. And Q, 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 Q. Put a little torch here. Oh shit, that torch shouldn't be there. <laughs> because we're gonna need to replace that spot. Oh my god, this is really terrible. There. Torch up here. B. Okay, and then three single unit B. B. Uh, okay. All right, so. 3B and 1. Fine. Uh, remove. Uh, close. Shit. Q. Remove that. Q. B. B, three, there we go, uh, Q, B, wait, it's interesting, huh, how's that platform? How's that fully wooden? See that? It's like wooden. There's no grass growing on there. Interesting, huh? Yeah, the the thing is look looks very different. Versus the moss covered one. Yeah, I don't know why it's wooden along that one and it's not. And that one's moss covered. Well, I don't know what that story is, but okay. So here. Stones. Oh, it's silver, right? Yeah, silver. We want to put the combustion. Here. And the wood needs to go that way as well. How do I make more of that? I think I need more iron ingots. Yep, I need more iron ingots and more... Okay, so we don't need this anymore, right? Let's say none. I'm pretty sure we don't... I don't know if we need that anymore. Now that we've researched everything. Hang on. So what's the other one? Metal plating? Metal, generic or refinery, and mana, crystallized mana energy. First of all, let's see here, metal, 
And that craft site is refiner. Do we have a refiner? Matter refiner. We don't have a matter refiner. I need iron. I need I need these. I need right. Ingots. I don't have any ingots. I need to take the stones out. Silver, okay, hang on. And then... I need iron ingots, ores, mana fibers. So hang on. We got enough mana fibers, right? I need ingots. Wait. Ingots. Oh, I have ingots. Oh, it's got to be done in the assembler. Oh. It's fine. Oh shit, I only need one now. I only need one. How many does it need? Five metal. Four mana, one. And then four iron. I don't, yeah, that should be roughly enough. I only need one of those. Okay. And then the matter refinery. Hang on. Metal plating, right? Metal bars. Metal plating needs. Three metal blocks. That's the generic, generic thingy, right? Well, let's stick this here for now. I don't know what else we're gonna do with it. Okay, how does that work, anyways? I'm guessing it uses this. It does. Oh, okay. Alright, so that makes me metal blocks. Okay. Let me take this off. Um... That needs fuel. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well... Crystals. Alright, so how do I get... This one? I think I just need an assembler, right? To do it. Let me take this apart. Um. Okay, so this is going to give me mana fiber. Well, first of all, I gotta make a bunch of these. Actually, I do have enough to Q to downward. That goes in. Hang on. 
Hang on. Hmm. I have to get that to go around the top side, right? Yeah, I gotta get that to the top side. Unless there's a crisscross. Is there a crisscross? Like an overlap. This is a splitter, right? Bypass. Oh, there's a bypass. Okay. That might not be so bad. So two. goes in there and then the fuel it's how do I create a bypass transport tube and two iron gears and I need bars to make the gears I think this is... Okay, that's blocks, right? Okay, so... What else? Hang on. So I need bars to make the gears. Um, hang on, where's this gear? Let me make a bunch of these, because I have it in my inventory. Okay. Let me think. One bypass. And I need to make a ton of these too. Okay. This thing in here. Can I get the stuff off? This one, I don't know if I need the forge here. Let me take that forge over there. Um, okay, so I've got bars. I need to get this tubing down here. There. Alright, so I need a bunch of those. Okay, hang on. Why can't I... Iron ingots. I need the iron ingots there. Alright, so the tubing is my bypass. All right, it's taken a while to create my bars. That means I might need another furnace. Because I need bars as quickly as possible. And the furnace is not, not moving fast enough. Yeah, the furnace is not moving fast enough. I'm thinking. So I need to split that out. And then have two furnace. Hmm. 
Yeah, let me see if I can do a second line here. Um, okay, so 15. So I need another furnace right here. A second furnace. Okay, so this tubing is a bypass. I need a bypass into this. Oh, I get this bypass to go over. Oh. Let me think here. I think that might work. That might work, yeah, okay. Cause this, I need to run. I need to run the, the fuel into that. Yeah, I need run fuel into that. I'm thinking here. Okay, so this right here needs to go. I need a splitter right there, right? Do I have a splitter? I don't have a splitter, I have a bypass. Hmm. I have a splitter here. Yeah, there's a splitter. So one is going the other direction, and one needs to go... I need to route it into this one, right? So, tubes. How do I get tubes? I need to get... You are going that direction, right? I need more tubes. That's iron gear. And I need iron ingots. Iron ingots that I don't have. So I th this that's this guy here, right? This guy makes my iron ingots. Um, I'm thinking. I need iron ingots. Well, first of all, I gotta also do the relays. Okay, so that works. And then I need tubes to feed the uh, the, the wood over there. Alright, well this one I don't necessarily need that there anymore, right? Let me take this off. There. So that's my iron ingot there. Any more tubes? Uh, 
I'm blanking. So this one right here. I can place it right here. And my tubes. Tubes. Could go down here, right? No. Blink and blink and blink and No. This is going this way. Shit. Wait, we need a splitter, basically. To go that way. Alright, so this line goes this way. Hang on. Shit. Terrible. Yeah, to remove the under thingy. Okay, hang on. Alright, so we got platforms again. Three platform. Four platform. Okay. So... Rotate this. Two. I need a splitter. One splitter. Where's my splitter? Missing splitter. Did I make a splitter? I could have sworn I made a splitter. Oh, there it is. Okay, splitter. Right. Splitter goes. Number, hang on. Number eight, right? Number eight. Cannot dig supporter. Wait, can I put the splitter there? I don't know. Well, I can't, right? The tube can go under the thing, but the splitter cannot. Okay. So that's fine. Two. Down. Over. I wonder if it just bypasses through this. I don't know if it bypasses through that. I think it has to be an input. I don't think it... I don't know. Let's find out. Two. split in half right there. Shit. Let me take this off. Okay, so we need to get... I'm trying to get ores separate from the thing. If that's gonna affect anything, it might. Hang on. A relay. It might actually affect the thing. Yeah, it probably did. 
I think I did. I don't know. Alright, that's fine. Stick this off. Q. Three. One. Two. 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 It's not bypassing. Alright, I wonder if I could put a chest there. It'll be the same. I don't need this crank anymore. I don't need a crank drill. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna go in there or not. It does go in there. Okay, it's cool. Alright, so I got that to go where it needs to go. I wish there was a limit. Like, we can set a limit. Well, I need to make tubes, right? We'll come back to that. Uh, two. Alright, so that should bypass through that, right? Why is it not bypassing? Hmm, I don't know. The bypass is supposed to go through over it. Unless I'm supposed to do. Something like that. I don't know what the hell is wrong with the bypass. What's a bypass do? Shit. Stop. That's not right. Yeah, that's not right. You know, what's the bypass? Transport items behind other transit tubes requires both an entrance and an exit. It's not working. I don't know how you make the bypass work. Shit. Shit, I don't know. Clear? Dig? Hmm. Try it again, bypass. Well, that worked. Let's see here. Um, shit. I don't know here. Remove these crystals. Three. Three. Two. Yeah, for some reason the wood is not going through that. You see that? Yeah, see, I don't know... I don't know why that's not working. I 
I don't know why that's not working. I don't know how bypasses work. Yeah, I don't know how bypasses work. It says transports items behind other transport tubes requires both an entrance and an exit. Okay, I think what I do is... Okay, maybe, um... Maybe it's like this. I think I might need more than one. I think it's like this. Q. Three. I need another bypass. I'm guessing I need a bypass. Like two bypasses. I'm guessing I need two bypasses. Q. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, it goes through, but I have to. It won't. It won't bend. Is what I'm saying. So that means. Oh God. That means this. Has to be redone. I think this is what it does. Right or no? Yeah. That's how it works. I can't, I guess I can't touch each other. I think that's how it works. They can't touch each other. It doesn't bend around. There's no... Unless bypasses can... Rotate. Yeah, see, bypasses can't rotate. It has to... Oh, God. Alright, so at least we know... That's fine, it's fine. So now that goes in there. And then this one is... This one, right? Oh, but the silver ore needs to be processed. That's not gonna... Oh no, the silver ore needs to be processed. I'm thinking... Yeah, silver ore needs to be processed. Okay. That means I need one of these. Let's go do that for now, I guess. Hang on, I think it just needs to go down all the way over there, right? I need a platform. Can I replace it? Three? Three, right? Shit, come on. Four. I think it's four. Let me close this. Four. One, two, 
three. So we're going to funnel that all the way into the, the other thingy. Um, yeah, it's fine. Oh, gotta remove all these. Two. Oh, damn, I'm, I ran out. All right, so I need to get a, a thingy, a mana forge. Q, Q, E. Okay. I need stones to make a mana forge. I put the stones back. Hang on, I also need to make more tubes. go all right I don't think I need these anymore I'll, uh, dig soil no I dig out the I don't want to dig out the scaffold no, there's no way to shit I'm dig digging out the scaffold I don't want to do that Q, Q, Q. Where's my soil? For some reason that was there. Three, three, two. Q, remove this, remove this, remove this. Two. Q. Q. Uh, six needs to go somewhere else. Eight. Why is it? It says replace. I don't know why it didn't replace it. Weird. Okay, it's fine. Whatever. Two. Does it not go in? There you go. Okay, hmm, that works actually. I could probably dump this in there. Yeah, it's not doing anything. Huh, okay. It's fine, right? But now, what I need to do is figure out the forging of the ore. Right, I need to forge the ores to the ore, the forge assembler. Actually, I could probably put the assembler right over here, right? Shit, no. Because the forge, let me see here. How big is the forge? Come on. Q. 
barbecue. Okay, the forge could go there. Um, I'm thinking here. The wood can go down into it, right? Alright, so yeah, alright, that's fine, I'm thinking. I need to get... I need a bypass to go through it. Yeah, I need a bypass. I could have sworn I have a bypass. That's a splitter. I need a bypass. Wait, when you make a bypass, it yields two, right? Right, I think two is so that it's one of each. Right, okay. It basically creates two of those. Okay, so... Hang on. I do need the bypass, too. You know how you think about it? Or I need a splitter, right? I definitely need a splitter. Like that goes that way, that goes that way, right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna fuss with that. I can't get into it. I can climb that way. Okay, so. Hang on. I need the eight, the splitter. You. Goes down, right? Damn it, I keep removing these background tiles. Eight goes this way. And then two. Hang on, let me remove this. Alright. Uh, the splitter. One. The bypass goes through there. Yeah, see, that's how the bypass works. And then the ore also needs to go in there. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the ore. I kind of did this wrong. Well, I need to shift this over. Hang on, I got it. Never mind. Never mind. I don't need this. Okay. Yeah, I, I got it. I'm thinking. The splitter could. Damn it. The splitter could be placed right here. Eight. Two. Down. Down. Q. Q. Forge. Q. 
queue. Okay, that goes in. The assembler queue. Assembler can go right here, right? And then the recipe for the assembler is this one, right? Oh, it doesn't actually have to go. Look at that. The range is kind of cool. Oh, hey, look at that. The range. Oh, interesting. Four. range actually makes it so that I could go through the through the thing without having to worry about the platform right Two, four. Right, hang on. Does it connect? Or does it have to go through it? Got power. How many do you need? Two mana, one silver and got, right? I guess it does need to go through that. Huh. Two. Four. Two. Four. Two. Two. Yeah, it does have to go through that. Okay, it doesn't go through walls, basically. Alright, so that funnels through. That should take care of the... The mana fiber problem, right? Now it's the metal plating. I'm wondering if I could just do... The ore as the metal. Any ores, right? It doesn't have to be the other one. I could probably just use a silver ore. Yeah, I'm thinking I can just use a silver ore. Hang on. So my guess is I should be able to use a silver ore. Whatever that is. Um, hang on. So do I have a spl another splitter? I don't know if I have another splitter. Alright, so I'm gonna need another splitter. And I'm probably gonna need another bypass. So the idea then is... I'm gonna funnel the the tube. Um, what is this one? This is the matter matter infuser. Blocks. Wait, 
wait, why is the power not... I don't have the power? Relay. There, it's probably not in the relay. Okay, so... Let's see here. Four, four. Close this crafting. One, two, three. Uh, where's the bypass? The bypass goes over there, right? Okay, and that's the metal. Alright, so I need to make more of the tubed transits. Metal platings! Oh, those are metal blocks. Okay, so I need a assembler. To put the thingy into the thingy. And then we got number two, right? Oh, you know what? Actually, it has to be on this, doesn't it? Oh, shit. One. Okay, so metal plating now goes this way, right? So that goes, that goes through. So now we have metal plating going into it. All right, everything should be, should be how it works, right? And then the next one is what? Repair tools. I make repair tools. Repair tools is through the player or assembler. Assembler takes iron ingots and planks. Ugh. Okay. Shit. So we do need this section here. Hmm. I'm thinking. That's going that way. That's going that way. Okay. I'm thinking what I need to do is... Have it go like this. Take my splitter out this way. Um, put two right here. Q. Uh, I'm thinking. So we need a splitter right there, right? Right here. 
Wait, one... One goes that way. And then the other one... Yeah, yeah it's fine. And two... Goes this way, right? I'm blanking. So that one's going this way. I think, I think I did that wrong. Whatever. It just feels weird that I've got it like that. I technically don't need two splitters. Here, let me, let me do this. Seven, three. So I put the splitter right there instead. Like this. And then two. Q. Two. Shit. Close the inventory. Two. Right. There. That should work, right? Theoretically. Yeah, that should be the best way to do it, right? Yeah, so we're, we saved a splitter. Now. The other problem, thinking here, we need to make planks, right? We need iron ingots, and we need to make planks. Hmm. Okay. And it's made through the assembler. And that runs all the way into this, right? Uh, I don't think that's a good route. Hang on. I need it to bypass that. Or create a new bypass. All the way across the top, bro. Or re or take my torch out. Okay, I could probably do the, that on the separate separate line. So iron ingot needs to go this direction. I'm pretty sure I don't need this anymore. So let's say this is iron ingot, right? We got 62 of that. I need to run an iron ingot line all the way down here. Out. All the way that, that way. So let's say I put an assembler there. Put another assembler here. Can I put, can I make an assembler? There we go. Right, 
Got some similar here. get a bypass right all right so this one needs to do a repair tool and that creates the line I need to make more of this. And I need to put my light torch, my torch back. Along the top somewhere. Yeah, we've got like a double tubing. going here. So two. Oh shit. Uh, ancient thingy? Ancient lights. Doesn't look pretty, but okay. Close two. All right, so that should funnel that in there, right? And then this right here. Q. There. Now that should start generating me the repair tools. All right. So everything should be flowing that direction. Now all I gotta do is get iron ingot to go all the way over there. And we need to split the wood. So we, that way we, we also get fuel through this. We need to funnel fuel into the, the thingy, right? All right, so let me do, redo this. E. We don't need this anymore. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need this, right? Okay, so let me remove those two. So the forge can go here. Actually, hang on. 
All right, the forge can go there. And the splitter. Hang on, let me take this off. We need to get the wood split into this one, right? platform here so I can go up there and then splitter let me replace this uh, three splitter shit not it oh god hmm Yeah, we can't we can't just do that, right? Because otherwise it's gonna split into that, and that's not what I want. I think the splitter has to go here. Yeah, I think that goes like this, right? Yeah. Okay, that works. But now this has it. This has it. There you go. Oh, wait. I need to have it run. Well, this I don't need here anymore, right? Yeah, I don't need that there anymore. Two. Q. Okay, so two. This gets the iron ingots to go where it needs to go. Hang on, how's that? This is biofuel. Bio Let me just dump it over here for now. Okay, so the wood also needs to go the other way, right? Because we need to need planks to make the wood. Um, I think we need a splitter right there, right? Oh yeah, we gotta replace this. We ran out. Can we make more? Yeah, we can make more. Okay. So here, let me close this. We need a, we need, we need to make planks, right? Which one are you making? You need planks. Um, so I need another assembler. 
Yep, I need another assembler. Oh, I do have an assembler. Alright, so this guy... ...makes planks. It's going in there, right? And then... So you're, you're getting planks. And then you're making the thingy, right? Okay. And then the metal ingotten also needs to go there. Um, this is number seven, right? C, God, Jesus. Uh, C. Uh, two. Two. All right, so now we've got... Wait, metal ingot needs to go in here, right? Oh shit. <laughs> uh it needs to go around, doesn't it? I actually had it right on the bottom floor. Well it's too late now, I mean. So metal ingots first. I need metal ingots to go. Metal ingots needs to go in there. This needs to make planks. Oh my goodness. Okay, hang on. How do I get metal ingots into this side? Okay, okay, I think I have an idea. Okay, so if this right here can get metal ingots and the planks. And it goes up and out, right? The planks needs to go right there. And then the metal ingot needs to go around it. Or around, up and around, right? Up and around. Eh. Uh, okay, okay. Alright, so I could probably put the other one up here. Let's go with a metal ingot goes here. Q. I just need to do a platform up there, right? Maybe I can just do a platform. Do I have a platform? I don't have a platform thingy. Uh, Z to drop. One, two, three, four. Hang on, whatever's in my hand, Z to drop. Well, hmm. Maybe I just make a bunch of platforms. I might solve that problem. There. Why, why is my... Why do I have mana fold in my hand? 
Yeah, I don't know why I have manifold in my hand. Okay, so what I need to do is get the platform right here. To that one right and then we do planks well, that should work right that should work theoretically that's it right I think that's it I think we got it yeah I think we got what we needed All right, I think that is it. There's nothing else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Let's take a look. Everything's flowing, right? So repairs. Manifolds, or sorry, uh, mana fibers, repair tools. We just need a shit ton of this thrown in there. Everything's good, right? All right, everything looks good. Now we just AFK. <laughs> oh my god. All we do now is just AFK. Wait, is the... How is this coming? Silver bars. Silver bars are going in there, right? Is silver bars going in there? Silver bars should be going in there, right? There you go. It's finally moving. Okay, everything looks like they're moving. The only thing we need to catch up is on the repair tools. But we could manually make a couple of repair tools ourselves. Yeah, assembly, uh, player, player base, right? All right, so, hmm. How, how's this coming along? Yeah, we're at about 240 behind on the repair tools. But the, for the most part, we can just AFK, right? Yeah, it looks like we can just AFK. Or gather, well, we can try to gather more wood. The iron is something we're gonna have to figure out.
Because that is kind of slow. That's the bottleneck right now. Yep, that is the bottleneck. The iron. Yeah, let me take this out. Four? Okay, that is okay. The bottleneck is the iron. thinking how we're gonna do this. How can we do iron efficiently? All right, we're just gonna have to manually do it. Screw it. Oops. We have a stockpile of wood somewhere. Yeah, we do have a stockpile of wood. Okay, that's also in our hand. All right, so let's do the planks. I'm just gonna make a shit ton of planks because we have stockpile of wood. And then for the iron ingot, we're going to have to figure out something for that. Two. Okay. Should be fine, right? All right, so now we just sit around and wait for the. Now we just sit around and wait for the uh, ingots, and then we're gonna manually make the repair tools. Actually, there's a bottleneck here, I'm noticing. Okay, hang on. I think what I should do is put the forge right here. And put this over here. That's just as enough, right? Yeah, hmm. That should be fine for now. Come back to see if this bottlenecks again. If it bottlenecks, I can funnel it over manually. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like the wood is our problem. Yeah, wood is not the problem. 
It's really the iron ingots. Hmm, I might have to set up another thingy that pumps the iron ingot faster. But the iron ingot's not flowing, right? Everything else is flowing 100%. Okay, let me see if I can do... I need another one of the drill thingy, right? Iron gear, three iron ingots, one forge. Alright, let me put these distillery thingies away. Silver ores? No. Okay, hang on. So... This requires stones. Eight stones. One. And then... To get the next one, we need iron ingots, right? Iron ingots. Hang on, let me um, let me reroute that. That way we can take the iron ingot out. Okay, so now. These. So what we're gonna do is we have another splitter? I don't think we have another splitter. We don't have another splitter. Hang on. Uh Yeah, let's just do that. I'm okay with this. Uh, hang on, is that the best way to do it? I mean, that splits down this way, right? thinking is that the best way to do it it's okay it splits this way I need another splitter over here or the uh, drill basically the drill Is that is that the best way to do it? Because I need another drill. Right, I need another drill. And I need the other iron to go the other way. Let me see if I can just remove this. Actually, we have a lot. I don't need to remove it. So what we'll do is... We'll create this. platform here. Put you here. Oh, it just pulls it, huh? Oh, it just pulls it if it's in range. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. 
Interesting, huh? Okay, so long as it's in range, it can pull it. This goes there. And then I can Can this go here? Hang on. I have to put this there, right? Yeah, that's not gonna work that way. Cause then I would have to create a... How's, how's this gonna work? So otherwise I have to create a bypass. This might might have to create a bypass. Wait, why is this not? Oh, it does. Okay, 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 okay. It, I okay. I do need this. I do need this. I do need a bypass there, a splitter. Replace? I don't know if that replaces it. Mm. All right, so this goes here, right? Rotate? I rotate this? Yeah. That goes in there. I need to get a separate thingy in here, right? Hang on. So this funnels it in there. Okay, so this goes this way, right? What I could do is... I can shift this over one. Right, I can shift that over one, or... No, 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 I can stick this here, right? Yeah, I can stick that there. Yeah, you know, I can do it like this. So that could work, right? And then... Hmm. I'm thinking... Yeah, that goes down this way. It splits it into this. And I need another tubing right here, right? I think that's it, right? All right, so the mana fiber, what's wrong with the mana fiber? The mana fiber is not flowing. Uh, 
four. It's the silver bars. I don't have enough silver bars flowing. Because this thing is sucking it up. Yeah, this thing is sucking it up. Yep, that thing has been sucking it up. At some point, we can stop that. Either that or this needs to flow more, right? Hang on, can we make another one of those? We can probably make another one of those. Obviously not getting enough. How's that? That should kinda reroute it, right? Okay, we only need a few more of that anyways. Okay, so... Bars, right? Because this guy here needs the bars. Alright, we're almost done with this one anyways. Right, the metal plating is almost done. All right, let me take this off. Two. Yeah, whatever that is, it should be enough. Okay, sell. So, repair tools, right? Not pumping it out fast enough. That's all I can say. Yeah, the repair tools is not... Well, it is, it is. Technically, it is. It's as fast as it can go. Yeah, see, we're we're not. If this unit is empty, then we know we know it's not catching up. But since that unit, that block is not empty, that means it's it is filling up. Now all we got to do is wait for the mana fibers and the repair tools. Repair tools is taking a very long time. It's kind of cool, right? What we have going. I just don't know what that other Cranko guy is, but it seems like it's manual, right? We have to keep cranking him. I wouldn't want to mess with it. I'm gonna take this out. Why is it always locking? Yeah, I don't know what the locking thing is all about. I want to get rid of the biofuel bio if I could. There you go. Alright, let's make a couple of more tubes. Oh, I can't. <laughs> because of the uh, iron bars. 
Because we gave up all of our iron bars. We should be fine, though. Alright, what I'm going to do now is basically create a fast walkway passing. Oh, it just automatically replaces. Yeah, it automatically replaces it for us. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. It just won't replace where we're standing. Thanks. Thanks. It won't replace the stones easily. Need this bottom side, anyways. Six. Six. Oh, we could replace that, huh? Interesting. Very cool. We just can't jump down, though. Dude, I mean. Yep, I don't know what to do about the dude. Wonder if he falls when I go like this. Cannot dig supporting structure. Mm. Yeah, can't dig supporting structure. Last time, he just bugged out, and it didn't pick up where I saved. I don't want to... I don't want to, like, screw up again. some older save points. Yeah, it's kind of weird how this guy's missing, like, legs. He's missing legs. Kind of cool the graphics connects. Oh, 
All right, so all we got to do is sit around and wait for the repair tools. I'm digging this game. It's not bad. I, I enjoy it. It's kind of fun. It's very relaxing. Very chill vibe. Cozy, I guess. That's what these games are called nowadays. Cozy. Cozy games. The ancient device. It's kind of nice also cutting these things down. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of nice cutting them down. Get like free bio material. I think it's definitely faster than walking on dirt. Now what this ancient device does, I have no idea. We're almost done with the mana fiber. Yeah, I think that's it, right? We should probably cut this off. I mean, it should be done soon. So all we gotta do is just wait for the tools. And then we repair, and I'm assuming that's the game over, right? I really assume that's the end of the demo. Yeah. Let's go down here. What is... I think that's bricks, right? The background bricks. Oh, ancient background. B. I mean, there's not a lot left to do, right? Other than maybe we might get attacked. There's a mana turret. I don't know what the mana turret does. Unless you shoot mana bullets into the conduit. That's the only thing I can think of. Alright, cool. Nice little wood spot there. Oh, what else? What other junk do I have? I don't think I have any more points to spend. Nope. This is, I don't, yeah. Pretty sure the demo does not have enough units for us to kill for that. Think so. What is this canister thingy? Oh, it heals us. Oh, I think I know what that does now. Remember how I was talking about how do you heal yourself? I think I use it to. I think I use it on myself, right? Hang on, I think that's what it is. Nine key. 
the arrow key. Now, it is on my, yeah, it is on myself. Yep, okay. Yeah, so I use a hot key and I click on myself. Alright, so now we know how to heal. Can be plant, uh, place, well, this can be, uh, this, you can plant this to grow a burrell plant. So blah, 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 gum plant, right? Sand, you can smelt this into glass. Okay. And that is to do whatever. Alright, I'm gonna put this across the XB. Yeah, because this platform is kind of cool. I like the look of this platform. B key. Yeah, so you're if you're into like base designing, this is nice, right? It's really nice. Uh, it's a nice tile to have. I don't know, yeah, I don't know if that, that regenerates. But it's very cool though. Can I make bricks or do I have to assemble it? It has to be done in a forge. Well, I guess I have, I, I can make a forge, right? But I need bi- well, I have biomatter on me too. Should be able to just make it wherever the hell I want right now since I have it all on me. Now the question is, how do I get the mushrooms to regrow? Yeah, the vines are like ridiculous. It's like growing everywhere. I guess I shouldn't complain because it's free free fuel. Pretty sure there's not a thousand <laughs> uh, void matters in this, in the, on this on this demo to expand to these other maps oh you know what? I should, should have tested to see if that well I doubt the uh, ancient device moves it's probably a bad idea to even try to move it if it is movable I forgot to check wonder what it does. It might just say, hey, you finished the demo. Congratulations for building the ancient device. That's really what I'm thinking. That's a fun demo. It's actually, there's a lot of content on this demo. 
Hopefully the developers will have this demo still available. Oh shit. Three. Uh, five, five. Huh, interesting. I guess if the ladder is through the thing. I think if the ladder goes through that, it's probably... No, hang on, let's see here. Oh, shit. Okay, now I thought it was through the thing that causes it to be... Because mm. that, that got me the extra ladder, but that wasn't the case. Unless I accidentally right click through it earlier. Okay, so we got a hundred more of those to go, right? Well, at least the, the relay was not that hard, thank god. And I think right before we win, or sorry, right after we win or something, hopefully it lets us continue playing, but I want to see what this robot thing does. Because it bugged out, but I lost my cursor, and I don't know if that was a one-time bug out, or it's actually still bugged. I want to know what that thing does. Three. No, I have to right click all the time, right? Manually. I can... No, I don't want to mess with that. So that was going that way, right? That way. That way, uh, okay, yeah. I think that's the best way to keep it flowing. I think it is bottlenecked. Yeah, it is. The iron is bottlenecked. No, it's not. Nope, it's not bottlenecked. I guess, let me think. Should I try? To add another one. Should I try to add another one? I mean, I guess if I have another splitter, I do have another splitter, right? I do have another splitter. So what I can do is do this, right? Oh, wait, the splitter doesn't go through that. No, the splitter doesn't go through that. It 
thinking. I'm trying to see if I can add another. Another, um. Another furnace right there. Right above it. Yes, I can, right? I should be able to. Should be able to, right? That goes in there. Um, I just need a funnel. Yeah, you know, I could probably just dump this in there. <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably just dump it in there like this. Um, now the question is, is that going to pull? It does pull it from the bottom. Yeah, the wood automatically goes between both of them. Oh my god, that works too. Yeah, apparently they both get it, right? Hang on. I just dumped all the ores from the other side to the other one, right? Should increase it, right? We just need to wait 30 more. Let's see if this backs up. Okay, it's starting to back up, so that means we're doing something right. Yep. Alright. And then I think the cap limit is already filled. So we just need to wait, like, what, 25 more units? Yeah. Alright, so in the meantime, I'm just going to use the bathroom real quick here. So BRB. All right, I'm back, and looks like we're almost there, right? Nine more units. All right, so we figured out this is the heel. I guess you can craft that, right? A 
that's with glass. Oh, that's what the glass is for. I was wondering why you would want the glass. Okay, so quartz. What's quartz used for? Generic refined stone. Maybe quartz is used for the uh, mana crystals or whatever. What's the research? Hang on here, see what's this research? We haven't researched any of this. Enables infusing mana into a mana conduit to increase its power output. Porter, right? Alright, I should re-establish my other thingy. Where's it? No, it's the forge, right? Bouldery. There. Do we have another? I think it's this thingy that makes the... Oops, I think it's this thingy, right? That creates the essence. I could scoot that over one because these chests are aren't really full yeah these chests aren't necessarily full what that's got what four slots left Okay, I can take this with me. I can take that one with me. We could probably make more torches, right? Alright, yeah, that's the slime thingy. Refines of the bat biofuel. Oh, interesting. Do this. Uh, what do I not want on my hand? Bricks? I don't want bricks. Okay. Uh, let's take this off there. this. Cranks, right? Cranks. Perfect. There. Well, that funnels it through. How, how much How much are the cranks? It's iron ingots and planks. Ugh. Okay. Now the iron cubes... Dumps us in here, right? Oh, hey, we're done with our thing. Forgot. <laughs> All right, let's repair the device. I think this is the end game, right? Connection to primary ship lost. What the hell? Reestablishing connection. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Failed to connect. Primary ship is out of range. Uh-oh. Deactivating device. Uh-oh. Thank you for playing Auto Forge Demo! That's what I thought. Wishlist. Can I click off of that? I don't think I can click off of that. It just opens up the, uh... Yeah, it opens up the thing. 
No, it's not gonna let me continue for some reason. Oh, I, it will. Oh, I could just hit escape. All right, well, that is the end of the demo. Now let's go back and check out this other dude. No, it was really fun. I enjoyed this game a lot, actually. We'll find out if this breaks again. Oh no, did I fall asleep again? Thanks for waking me up, brother. Who knows how long I was out for. Well, my cursor's still here, so it's not bugged. If you're looking for the comms device... What? What do you say? If you're looking for the comms device... Then something something... Then you should... what? You need to hold the E key for a long time. Then you should explore the... Oh my god. <laughs> then you should explore the region to the east. Oh, that would have... <laughs> oh my god. Had I clicked on that earlier... That would have helped. I don't think I can move him, right? No, I can't move him. No, I can't put stuff behind it either. Huh. My cursor's broken again. Yep, my cursor's broken again. Well... Yep, my cursor's broken again. Well... Good thing we did that last, though, because otherwise we'd have to restart again. But yeah, this is the demo. Thank you for playing. I can't even get my cursor to fix on this. I think this just exits the game. Yeah, it just exits the game. All right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate um, you guys watching. If you enjoyed this uh, demo and if it... Uh, Gets you interested and excited um, in the game. Don't forget to go by the AutoForge website description or the link is in my description of my um, video and uh, go wishlist it. And if the game is out by the time you watch this video, then go buy it. It's really fun. I enjoy it a lot. Hopefully the, the demo is still up. All right. Until next time. See you later.